Look who's back. Look who's here. Hey. It's Yet. Yet. It's Yet Neptunes. Everybody give it back for, give it up a clapping hands for Yet Neptunes is in here. Hey. Unbelievable bang. It's a little unbelievable. I cannot believe Jing Lava. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. It feels good to be back. Yeah. Got our, uh, yeah, we're, it's good to have you back, man. I mean, Thank I know you. you've had a long ways away. Chris is away on very serious business. Serious business trip. Very serious business trip. Yo, let's stream. Look who's here. Y'all excited? I'm excited. Right? We got Jet. He's back. All right. Um, get into it. Uh, yeah, no, we have, uh, Chris had to fly out. Nod tour. Joey, tour. Joey, Shed, help me with the names. Theory. Shed Theory. They're on tour, guys. Yeah. That's a show. It's a big show. It's like a really, uh, it's like a, like a Coachella level thing. And yeah. Joey's there. Good. Uh, Round of applause for Joey. Yeah. Just claps in the chat. So, uh, yeah, no, we, uh, we, so, uh, we, the t we are a team here. We are a working machine and we, uh, support success. Lots of things going on here. That's what we do. That's, but, uh, hell yeah. Um, anyway, Jet's here. We got, we, we're, 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 we're back. We're excited. Um, we just made some upgrades while I was gone. Yes, Chris. We have, there's two mics now. I can do ASMR really close. Really close. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's what Chris said he was going to do. He just never, he didn't want to do any ASMR. He said he felt stupid doing it. He's <laughs> like, this is stupid. Uh, Trinity Sanguinity. Thank you for joining Severe Beast. Man, I miss saying that. Yeah. Matt <laughs> Henriksen. Thank you for joining. Um, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, we moved upstairs. We have Fios, high speed Verizon, cancer causing 5G. That's what we have. We've got 5G roasting my brains, killing my wife's breasts, filling them with cancers. Who gives a fuck? Elon Musk is fighting Mark Zuckerberg. The world is a raisin cracker. Who gives a fuck? None of this matters. Jet's fake. I'm in the CIA. Sam Hyde and I went to the FBI when we were 11 together. None of this matters. All of this is fake. Illuminati CIA, Rothschild Oceanfront, the submarine diversion while BlackRock Financial, Jamie Dimon signs reparation $411 million billion bill to rebuild Ukraine, last handshake on the Russian-USA peace treaty. You serious about that? No. Yeah, so that's, I was like, you know, it's always like, why the fuck is, uh, the, why, you know, why is everybody looking around? Yeah. I always get fishy when we're looking at a submarine. Yeah. Bunch of fucking nobodies, right? Yeah. Well, when was the last time that happened? Like the Casey Anthony case? The, yeah. Yeah. OJ. Just like that. Right, right. Like that. And then you're like, why are we, wait, 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 something's happening. Why do we care? Why, why do I care about two, a bunch nice of- Nice to meet you with the 100. Jet it up, J, 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 J. You're throwing the blues. Yo, Azul. Yo, you're throwing the, yo, I check my little ass for you. <laughs> no problem. I got no dignity. Thank uh, you, man. That's very generous. Yes. What, um, what, what are they hiding? Uh, so what is it? Uh, Dave Rothschild was the CEO of Ocean something on that thing, and then the the two. Oh, this is the one. This is okay. the this is the bit. This is gonna be in World Peace Three. Yeah. You went to Blue Origin Space with Freak Show ten gallon hat Jeff Bezos or whatever they whatever name they gave that CIA bubble when they grew him in the lab. Yeah. And then two of them are already dead. One died in a the six people went. Two of them died. In, uh, one died in a, a small plane crash. Always funny. And then um, that one of them just died in, the, in that submarine. What the fuck happened on Jeff Bezos' space ride where he's like this, kill them all. <laughs> I just wait. want them all dead. Smash them in weird ways. So wait, the people, some of the people who died were just in... Were on the Blue Origin flight. And some of the other people who were on the Blue Origin flight also, also died yeah. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, Jet. <laughs> they, saw the, they saw the green screen outside. And now that you said it, you're dead too, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking... You think I could... How long do you think it would take me to kill you with my 10-gallon hat? Oh, it's me, Jeff Bezos. It's going to take me... I'm going to have to wear your temples down. I'm going to have to rip your <laughs> eyes out with the brim of the hat. It's going to take me... I'm going to pin your throat down with the brim of my hat. How would someone kill someone with a 10-gallon hat? That's what yeah. Jeff Bezos wants to do to me now. Um, but no, that's, uh, that's the thoughts on the, who gives a fuck? It's a fucking submarine. On brighter note, that's crazy. we went back to my old, my old workplace and I'm going to put my name tag on. Oh yeah. I'm going to put this on. 
Because this is work. This is work. This is where I used to work. I went and picked up my old bag of shit from my buddy that cleaned my locker out, basically. I have my pen, my Nick Roachford pen that I ordered on eBay for no reason. Stupid purchase. Uh, but Mercedes people like it. I took the, uh, the the name tag off the wall. I'm going to hang that in my house. Mm. Got a couple of paste stubs for you. This is super fun. See how much I was. Let's see if it was a good week. Year to date. Let's see. Rainmaker, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, yeah. Got my social security on here, my, my address. Gross pay twenty four hundred. That's not a good week. Let's see if this one's good. Hold on. All right, let's see. Checklist. Gross. What pay period was? Uh, let's see. Let's see if I was making money this year. Oh, by March, year to date, sixty grand. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good year. Mm. Sixty by March of last year. I was doing it. It was a good time. We we're selling cars, selling Mercedes. Fifty nine Let's do it. Um, send them in. Send in your houses. We are here. Um, Ready to open them up? I'm ready to open them. Yeah, we are. Oh, it's been a minute oh, we since got, I opened the floodgates. You got that there. Oh, I'm B9 Tumor today. Yeah, yeah. B9 right. Tumor. Yeah. It's all right. I'd rather be Chris. Chris is here in spirit. Yeah. I'm just simulating Chris. Yes. This is a hologram. <laughs> You're a hologram. Chris, operated by Chris. Guys, uh, submissions are officially open. Whether you got a chat read for us or whether you got a house that you think might be good, it might be bad, maybe it's your boss's house and he's a dick. He's a dick, and you want to see somebody make fun of him. Nick Rochefort is the guy for the job. I am your humble TTS servant. It feels good to be back. Um, we're going to get these chugging, so send them through. I'm going to write these addresses down in order. Get in line, okay? No skipping. Um, but, yeah, we got the first one right here, Nick, if you want to oh, yeah. uh, hop I'll right jump into right. it. I'll I will, I will yump well, right before in. Before that, before, while you're typing that yeah. one in, we got Alex uh, Plore with the 20. I'm 24 and I'm a technician for a cable company making 50K with lots of room to move up. I have an option to move internally to sales. I like being a tech. It's rewarding, but should I go into sales to harness my inner psycho? Um, honestly, yeah, man. I, 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 I thought about construction sales or blue collar sales as a, as a, a future business idea. Um, I'll get to, and the reason why, technicians are good dudes. They're a sales team can do a lot more for a blue collar guy than 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 a blue collar guy understands. Um, I've been a I've been a pretty decent salesman, car salesman my entire life. Uh, can kind of get things moving. I sold a thousand Mercedes in three years, um, or damn close, or three and a half years or something like that. And um, I, if you find a good group of people where you could sell their services, you can make a lot of good dudes a fuckload of money. Um, and I think you'll honestly make more than the technicians, and I don't think any of the technicians would be mad at that because you, if, if you become really good at that. So I always thought that if, if they had a sales front that would sell blue-collar services, but they only worked, or they only fucked with people that were good, and it's up to you to decipher good work to bad work, but as long as your rates were fair and your product was dope, um, I think there's just a long window in that, and I think, it's, I think uh, internally it's a struggle, it's a, it's a strength, it's a growth point for, uh, for blue-collar people on they, they reach a certain level, they need to like hit that. So they're always kind of capped at making, you know, buck 200 grand a year when they could be making millions, of, you know, and that's what it takes that like middle management sales bullshit that those dudes. Uh, Oi, man, I'm really cool with the 30. Hey, Nick, any advice on getting the hunger back? Was a poor kid, rough upbringing, but got myself to 150K a year in IT. I'm 30, I know I've got more in me, but now I feel like I'm stuck in the mud or just too comfy, XO. Yeah, you ever get that? Yeah, I feel that uh, every day. You want the starving hunger again? Yeah, I was thinking about when I used to live in a junkyard. Mm -hmm. I used to literally live in a junkyard on a boat on bricks suspended in the air. And uh, I hated it yep. at the time, but I was like, man, that was so fucking insane. That was, that was so was crazy. Insane, right? Yeah, 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 it was yeah. a ton of fun. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, something about the dirt and the mud, not the wet, sticky mud you get stuck in, but once you get some money like I was buying I bought a hundred dollar t-shirt today I'm like a fucking nerd now like, right what the fuck am I doing you get I, so, I understand it so I so, saw so, some you know so, some part of that is very uh entrancing I kind of I, I it's very tempting to just like give up and just start doing that shit yeah, yeah no you, you I think there's an art form in staying starving yeah um it's hard Guys who make buck fifty two there's a high high water mark at that like level of income and it's right around it's right. They say like right around like two around here anyway. It's about two fifty and below is like one, and then like up above three and and then into the crazies is where you start to get like a whole nother set of shit. 
Um, but I've also watched people, you know, make a decent buck or two for a couple of years, buck and a half, uh, and that money can go away. Um, the next level is where you, the, the, what you're trying to get is enough money where you're like, you could fuck off for seven years and get face tattoos, and you're still coming out of the ether alive and with a, in a, in a Rolls Royce. Um, but staying starving is, is an art form. Um, I, I, I get it. I mean, I've had a couple of good years, and uh, the stuff that I buy to represent that I'm good, I can't, you know, I don't come from rich families. I come from normal, humble beginnings. Um, I come from one socket, so I get it. I buy certain things that make me feel better, and they last for about fucking six hours, and then I'm instantly over it. A new car, yeah. you know, a Porsche, you buy cool shit, and you're like, I don't give a fuck about this. I want to watch a fucking obese woman give head in a park to yeah. her homeless boyfriend. Yep. I want to get back there and like laugh about it and not be like weird. I'm just like watching it like good for her. <laughs> mm. Good for her. Yeah. Obese lady's giving a fucking blowjob over there in the public bathroom at the park. Good for her. I'm just going to finish my cigarette and go back to riding my bicycle or whatever was free that day. Just uh, force yourself into a, uh, a very risky life endangering change. Yeah, or or uh, switch it up. You'll salt the right. money away so deep that you don't even feel it. Like cut yourself down to five hundred bucks, and salt that, pack that money in salt. Yeah, and I mean that by like salt something that that's like immovable. Like okay, you made you got a hundred grand. Go buy ninety five thousand dollars worth of silver bars. Yeah, that'll pack your ass in tight, and put it in a safety deposit box and cry. But. The steps to becoming a wealthy person, I guess. You know, I don't know. This is not financial advice. I don't know. But I do know that feeling. And I oh, miss yeah. it. I'll be honest with you. I want to go back to the car business. I was hanging out with my buddies today at the car business. I fucking miss it. I miss my friends. They were funny. They're normal. But, uh, yeah, shit. <clears throat> I'll jump into this house. Seven, 75, first house of the night. 7564 Marsh Fern Lane. Hobie Sound, Florida. 602's estimate. 599. Most typical fucking uh, Florida house we've ever seen. Built in 89, 256. Hey, it's a $600,000 house with a $300 a month fee. Does that come with landscaping? I like Zillow's band with the slower than fish tank. <clears throat> like Zillow's been like slow on here. Really? Like, like I'll click it and it'll just be like, hold on. They're throttling you. They're throttling, yeah, Zillow's like this. Fuck that guy. He wants to fucking play with realtor, he can suck my dick. You can only have one. Yeah, you can't keep kissing me and fucking her. I'd rather <laughs> be his whore. Um... I remember that's what the really dramatic girl in my high school said that said did you have really dramatic girls in your seventh and eighth grade class girls that no. cried a lot during like social discussions and shit no i didn't i i had um because i was uh i was in like the smart class or whatever i had the same classmates like every year oh. and they were all like like harry potter nerds gotcha like freaks gotcha we had like stupid Charles, Eric, and I went to yeah. like this Catholic school. It was like shitty Catholic school in Woonsocket. It was like it was like eight hundred bucks a year. Somehow yeah. it was worth it. Um, yeah, it's not bad. No, it was cheap. And uh, there was like a couple of girls in the school, and they would like get teary eyed and always like uh, recite movie uh, movie lines to us, like to girls. <laughs> and these are like girls you play like spin the bottle with. Yeah. But, like you you'd catch like a I'd rather be his whore. And you're like, Whoa. take it easy, Amanda. And uh, so Eric, I think one of the funniest things that Eric Hayden and, and Charles we used to do in class is like say the things that this girl Melinda used to say. Yeah. It'd be like, a, I'd rather be his whore. She said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like literally. So we'd always say that shit. It was really, real funny. Um, I don't know, kind of a boring story, but I don't know. No, they, no, they, no, maybe like, people out there, do you have was it was seventh and eighth grade a real dramatic? I mean, Titanic was the movie that you know. I'm old. I'm fucking seventy eight years old. So, um, but yeah, the the, the dramatics of uh, that life was so fucking funny. Uh, yeah, this uh, five ninety nine, all the reach plus uh, no, the house needs everything. There's not a finish in this thing that's desirable. It is a, it's fine. It's clean. All the finishes are bad. The HOA fee is excessive, but it comes with if it comes with full maintenance landscaping. I guess that's something to consider. I mean, there's not much to be excited about. Uh, Four thousand uh, dollars to buy it with uh, sixty grand down. I don't know. I heard the, the area that got whacked by the hurricane is the buy-in. That's intel from Pops, who's down in Florida currently. He says that island that got destroyed in Florida is a decent buy. Yeah. What are the odds that the hurricane's going to hit it again? Just go pick up a piece. It's like the only deal lightning in Florida. Lightning strike twice. Not a ch Hey, lightning strikes twice. Fucking come get me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Dude, I'm ready to fucking roll the dice. <laughs> Honestly, if you can if you can run a hurricane through this fucking county, you deserve it. year after year. Come get me, motherfucker. Yeah. Couple chats here. Uh, Aqua Weatherman with the 25. Jeff Bezos is constructing a 10,000 year clock inside of a mountain in New Mexico to remind humans of the upcoming pole shift in 2046. Thoughts? Love you guys. That can't be true. He's way too busy f planning a fight. You gotta research the grand solar minimum. Is it? And the mud flood. What? Yeah. Charles yeah. mentioned the mud flood on his yeah. stream. And I was like, he knows. I'm not the only oh, one. Yeah. I'm not the only one that knows <laughs> oh, yeah. the hidden truth. Oh, that the United States is is uh, Israel. Yeah, that the Bible is. Yep, and that it was built by Nephilim, Israeli Nephilim. Yep. Yeah, and they flooded it with mud by hand. Yep. Fuzzy Man Twenty One, Jet, I missed you, John. Stupid, nice to see you. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for the yes. support there. Yo, thank you, dog. Uh, let me see if we can squeeze a couple in here before we uh, get back into them. Uh, Tashi Koma with the 25. I listened to and ran to the RoboCop. I listened to you and I ran to the RoboCop Robo house from last stream. They accepted my offer. Inspection on Monday jetted up. Yo, congratulations, my man. Oh my God. Good for you, dude. Seriously, nice, man. That's, that's, that's fucking awesome. Good luck with that. Uh, send me pictures of uh, the RoboCop. I'll, I'll go back in the stream and look for it. And you guys can go back in the stream if you like this stream. If you hit the like button because Yet is here. Please, not for me, but for yet. For me. You, YouTube knows yet name by hand. His name is written down on a little memo pad. It says, Yet Neptune. Hit the like button for him. He <laughs> do more than 500 likes, and I give him a raise. That while YouTube saying for your Neptunes. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, please hit the like button. It does help. I, I don't like these rules. It helps. Uh, Absenti, thank you for joining. Grimace's Taint, thank you for the 10. And lastly, uh, Kushi Fonti, one, two, three, with the 25. Hello, dears. I'm from the U.S. originally, and my family cousin, I watch you very much. We also love my dear Mr. Samson Haidi. Uh, your flag is up, sirs. God bless you. I want to start a condo apartment business. How, sir? 20 years old. Condo apartment business. Yes, USA <laughs> number one. <laughs> All right. Go, monster man. 100. Funny man. 3,000. Two buildings or one? Seven rooms. Rent out for three thousand mil dollars. Uh, no, uh, that's fucking awesome. Thank yeah. you, bro. Um, you don't want to start in a business. I just talked to my buddy that, if I, if, if for those of you new to the stream, I have a, a younger guy that worked as a porter, and then he worked as a a, a delivery specialist at Mercedes. Now the kid is making two hundred thousand dollars a year as a car salesman. Um, I, he shadowed me for two years. I basically I gave him fifty dollars a week to do all my work for a long time. He ended up working for a shamanic's house when it first got started. And um, now he's just crushing it. And he's got $200,000 in cash, and I love seeing him. But he's telling me that he wants to do apartment buildings in here. I said, Mikey, you're perfect. You are not going to buy an apartment house anytime soon. These numbers don't make sense. Apartments, guys, people are just going to stop. Here's how apartments stop getting hot. People stop paying rents. When foreclosures go up, those are people who got approved by loans. So you're betting on the integrity of the public. Imagine what's happening on the people who didn't get approved for houses because they're bad with their credit. Do you understand what I'm saying? You follow me? So if you were like a person, you're like, oh, no, the, the, the people who got approved the last time, who did the right thing, went to the bank, got the loan, those people are fucking up. Now that, oh, you're telling me the renters are going to, oh, yeah, they're going to pay the fucking landlords on time. Okay, cool. Yeah, I believe you. Fucking give me a break. So then the rents will come down. That takes a long time. That takes 18, 24 months. And then you have to have like stories of people getting fucking thrown out of their apartments. It happens. Look it up. It's called, it's history. Um, but yeah, and, and the percentages are higher. So you can take the percentage that you hear of delinquency rates and fucking double it or triple it for, uh, for rental. Uh, and they just assume that's happening. And multinationals that own these fucking uh, buildings are going to bury the fact that they're losing money because they have investors on board. So it's, you just got to keep your fucking ear to the ground. When you hear that people are getting evicted, know the fucking, the parties, the, the bells ring. And unless, you know, we have aliens going on. We got fucking Mark Zuckerberg is going to fucking kick the shit out of Elon Musk. You think he's coming in hot? Like Elon Musk is like, I'm gonna fucking kill this dork. I think I think Elon would win. Do that's, you? that's 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 what needs to happen. Oh, of course. Yeah. But I don't think like have you seen Mark Zuckerberg been fucking fighting? Oh, he has been boxing for a while. That's a good point. And he's a he's a smart kid. Yeah. He's not like fucking doing he's not training bad. E Elon Musk is probably gonna come in here come in, walk up the ring, ah, guys, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. He think he's like on oh, top of the world. Okay, he's yeah, bigger. Like he's got him outweighed. Yeah, <laughs> like he's got him outweighed, outsized. Zuckerberg's like, 
He's moving like he's moving so good. He he's, starts stabbing him. He's like, kill him, kill him anyway. He's kicking his ass. He's still like this. Fucking kill him anyway. He's saying he's the totally different guy. Yeah. He's like this. I think this is gonna be a fair fight. In the pre-fight, I think this is gonna be a fair fight. He's all a robot and yeah. shit. And then all of a sudden he's like, uh, <laughs> he's working the shit out of him. Yeah. He's beating his ass like a. Oh. He turns into like a like a like a twenty one year old like Dominican guy just beating the shit. He, he like turns knocking up. his teeth out, he, yeah. <laughs> like permanently making him ugly. Yeah, yeah forever yeah. ruining Caving his face. in his orbital bones. He's making him into Paul Dano in Prisoners. Yeah, yeah. And then he still says, "Shoot him." And then his robot knees kick back. I'm done. Shoot him. I'm I'm done. I gotta go. Come. <laughs> See you later. There's only one king, one life, one love, and there can only be one king. That's him. Um. But no, it's honestly more fun. But no, I hope Elon Musk. Uh, I hope Elon Musk. I'm you know my. But uh, all right, anyway, two twenty three oh six. Uh, Kilkenny West, Tallahassee, Florida, thirty two three oh nine. I like this better than the other one. What are we? Uh, we're, we're all the rage in the in the uh, the orange state. In the sunshine state of Florida. Um. Needs every service. Layout's a little better. Um, again, a, a siding job and a remod, a siding and window job in this house would go real far. Obviously, it needs everything siding windows. The the, sco the scale of the rooms is really nice. It's obviously going to need every coating, or it doesn't. Keep the stools. Those are casinas. Those stools are pretty nice. Um, I don't understand this fucking fence. Maybe it's just a park where people get killed in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, that's what it really looks like. Uh, Four fifty. First time to mark 475, half acre lot. Right there off Route 10. Uh, 150 bucks a foot. You're gonna spend 75 being into a two, You're gonna be into this thing for 225, 250 a foot. Big house though. Um, first time on the market, of course, right? What did this thing sell for? Are there any veterans benefits in this house? Yeah, if you were a general, you get, yeah, it's sold for one twenty. I mean, it's it's on the money. I don't think the money's wrong. Um, it's just how much you have to spend. If you have more money to spend, go for this one. Uh, paint. It's a paint trick house. Win windows and doors would actually do it. I would do more paint and flooring. Uh, if you're decent at it, go for it. I like that one better. It's got a little more character, better layout. We'll take kindly to your upgrades, which it desperately needs. And I think you'd sell it. And you got some free square footage there. Uh, Harry C with the twenty five says you're over serving. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Whiskey Danger Boots, thank you for joining. We got uh, Fubar Red, thank you for joining as well. Hey guys, we got a goal. You see the little uh, the little bar above our heads? We need Severe Beast members or else, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna go through with the blackmail. We're gonna, we're actually, we're gonna have to release the files. Yeah. Um, and look, man, you've been giving us your addresses. We have quite a database built up. Um, just, this is all we're asking for, okay? We don't wanna have to do it. Zuckerberg wants them. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay called me, eh? He said, I know you've got a pile of lists. Give me them? Yeah. Lemon, parsley, fillets, lists, your address, your mother's house. We're gonna get there and rape your mum. A, <laughs> a CIA van with agents in it, ready to rape your family because you're fucking with us. Now like the stream. Neil Allen with the 25 scuff gang advised I shouldn't spend a cent on the condo uh, I bought but oops my disabled ass is over 20 deep in hardwood carpet paint and furniture oh well at least I like it love you guys nice subtract the furniture out of your equation your furniture comes with you to the next house no big deal try to add your assets slowly uh, you know hey say what you want furniture's assets if you buy good shit uh, FPS silver with the 25 is it worth is it worth it buying not yet built houses or newly built houses? Florida is building huge amounts of homes. Lumber trucks with cra are going crazy on the roads, unlike up north where a new house hasn't been built in 40 years. Yeah, right. We're fucking booming too. People, we're just too frugal because we're not fucking sun-baked like Floridians. Uh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, if, if you're going to land there and you're never fucking leaving Florida, then yes, it's not a bad time to jump in and get yourself something... Uh, that's not a bad move because you get to pick your, your your selection. You have to get in there quick and hit tile supply stores and granite and kitchen countertops and do your upgrades. It'll save you a lot of time down the road if you can custom build. If you can kind of use the schmuck builder like a custom builder. Lastly here, we got Goese. Welcome to Severe Beast. And Shifty Eyes Shady with the Generous 25. Yet it up. He did the like button. Thank you. And uh, she follows it up with 10 
gifted subs. Hey, hand them out. Thank you for being so generous there. Jeez Louise, thank you so much. If you want, you never want to miss anything. Please join. Please join the Severe Beast. Please join. That's it. Cancel anytime. Do whatever you want. I don't give a shit. Don't join. Give me. Send me Dunkin' Donuts cards. I don't give a shit. I'll shake my little my crusty thong. I'll shake my crusty thong with my crack pipe in the underwear lining. I, you know, I know. I shake my hips and I hear the jingle. That's how I know I got a little a little crack in the pipe. That's how I know I'm having fun tonight. That's how I know. It sounds like a Christmas ornament. Ding, ding. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> That's where I stick my crack pipe in my panty liner. Yeah, you hang out with crack whores enough, you know what I mean? Sorry, this is what it is. They're always buying motorcycle parts. <laughs> um, all right, 520, Euclid at Fort Morgan, Colorado. Last of, did we look at this out? I thought we looked. No, I, I, someone else had the shower curtain. I'm getting like fucking uh, uh, butterfly effect. I like the detached garage. The yard, the fenced-in yard's actually nice. And these, uh, I like the positioning of the trees. Obviously, you get all this fucking crap out of the yard. No, don't pick anything up. Yo, MK, thank you for the five subs there, buddy. Thank you. Um, pretty good layout. Uh, like the house. It's got a decent, good, great starter home, great backyard. It just needs paint and decluttering. Um, I love the whatever the fucking detached thing is is great. Um, I mean, that's what you're going to get. You got The fence is a nice piece that you don't have to buy, and you can definitely just clean that up, restain it. Um, the brick's a nice layout, and it's got a metal roof. Uh, I, I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a nice piece. Uh, good layout, just architecturally cool. I, don't, I wouldn't sit in the fucking front yard. You got a whole backyard. G go in it. Um, but not, not a bad piece, honestly. I mean, good for you for buying this fucking strange statue and freaking the fuck out of everybody, but sit on the side of it. I'm sure no one will think that's strange. Good for you. Connor Uzalak, thank you for joining. We got Gweiss, which I already thanked, but I'll thank him again. Thank you. Uh, STC the Foo with the 25. Hey guys, been deep diving the stream lately and loving it. My mom has a large collection of mid-century modern furniture, clothes, and glassware, and is trying to sell. Recommendations for how to spread the word and collection? Uh, put it on Cherish. If it's a huge collection, list the whole thing on Cherish as a vendor. Make a, use your mom's name, call it Maureen's Antiques and uh, use the white glove shipping services so you don't have to, you can just sell it piece by piece, keep it clean, inventory everything, write it all down and list it. Comp it out on Cherish or, or uh, one of those websites or you can sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Roll it piece by piece. Go get yourself some furniture sells, man. Furniture sells locally a lot better. You can get a lot more money out online but you're gonna wait for it. Uh, what is this, uh, what salesmen always say, uh, slow dollars and fast dimes or something like that. You know, that's that's the... I don't know what it's called. Damage control with a generous 20. Nick, just served my wife the papers and I'm giving up custody of the brat for my new lady boy love life. Uh, did you review Thai homes? I can't wait to show you my new house. Thanks for all the encouragement, encouragement guys. I love you. Hey, Very nice. Congratulations on the, the hacksawing the handcuffs off. <laughs> <laughs> and embracing your, your lady boy. I'm not going to be married to you anymore. That's a that's a that's a new lady boy breaking up with her his wife. Yeah, like the first time you ever sound like a girl to your wife. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I'm leaving you. He's like, she's like what? Greg. I'm going away. I'm not. I'm not into you anymore. No I like my. <laughs> <laughs> I like Larry. Ah, Larry, geez. take care of me. Ah, geez, dude. Thank you for giving out the <laughs> sub, Cal M. Thank you. Uh, and then last. Chat here, uh, Code Zitsky with the 25. Hey, Nick, MDE fan since 2014. I'm a new grad with computer science degree trying to get a job, but I can't get calls. How bad can I lie on my resume? I'm thinking of writing that I worked at Microsoft and going full con man. Um, yeah, uh, just say that you interned during college at a major network and just take the stories that you had from whatever experience and then slap them over the fact that you were inside the Microsoft building. And then just say it wasn't really a Microsoft. They were just a company. And I, I wrote Microsoft because it was technically we were paid, but the company was paid for by Microsoft, but it was called ACS. And that just doesn't have any weight on my, I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Say that in the, but you should be, man. I, I, there's jobs out there. I think they're just looking for one thing. And uh, check out TikTok resume writers. This guy, there's one guy that I saw, it was pretty interesting. A guy just, this is a perfectly executed resume. Um, and just, just do that. I, I don't give a shit. I've, I, I've always kind of gotten jobs from friends. So I don't, I know that sounds stupid, but I'm a car salesman. I'm not like a career guy. I'm like the anti-career, but I do like what I hear over uh, the resume shit, um, even though it's really corny. But I think Fortune 100 companies have professional HR firms 
and uh, they have just p people that are used to reading shit. So your resume might look like shit. So you might want to take the take the uh, the yeet stickers off your uh, resume before you send it in. You know what I mean? They don't take the take the pictures of you offline of you at the at the Bones concert because they know that you might have a blade on you. <laughs> you might be ready to cut someone and be a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this guy's a ghost boy. Should we hire him? <laughs> Should we hire him? So next we have uh, Brandon St. Martin. And um, it says here, it doesn't really say here, but based on his pictures, it says he can cut and be a ghost and disappear. And he is clear. <laughs> they said he can just, he's, he's basically telling me that he can be clear. <laughs> I mean, look at it, Greg. It says right there that he can be clear. And they're like, I'm looking at a picture of two kids smoking a cigarette while looking down at their shoes yeah. with their hair over their eyes. Yeah. And he's like, that's what that means, Greg. God, what the fuck, man? Team Sesh. Come on. Early albums. 14. Teen Witch. Kim with the 500 SEK. Hello, Net and Jick. Payday just rolled through here in Sweden. Glad to see the OG Realtor gang back in action, even though I like to criss it up on occasion. Uh, I was wondering which conspiracy theory uh, lies you guys truly believe is real. Thanks for the A-plus entertainment and, and teachings. Conspiracy theory lies? What conspiracy theory do you think is real? Oh, I think 100% of them are all truths. Yeah, total truth. Uh, always truths. I think something's up with space. Something's weird going up, going going on up there. You mean fake space? Fake space. Yep. Why do we always see the same side of the moon? I ask people that and they can never tell me. It spins. Thumbs up. It it's always right there. It spins at the perfect. Think about it. We're spinning and then it's spinning at the. It's always just yeah yeah. I think this moon and the Earth had made a uh, have a deal with each other that they yeah. always want yeah they always want to um they said always look at me that's that's the deal it's actually a romantic story about uh, Greek gods. On when the moon was towed into this uh, orbit uh, in the 12th century by a spaceship, according to a uh, 12th century English mythology. The only explanation I can think of is that we live in a hollow Earth. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It's shaped like a donut. Yeah, think about it. We live donut in a donut, Earth. donut planet. <laughs> yep. But um, no, no, probably. Um, but those are, the, those are probably the most real ones. They're always updating it. It's always so fun. Uh, it's just, it's the best thing. 42, Ojai, California, 865 square feet. The house is dope. 2,200 a square foot for old, like mid 80s Spanish home, 2015. You're out of your mind, sister. It's pretty good though. Not, not this much money though. Um, not sustainable. It's a good rental, but even if you get 4,500 a week, which is, I put that at like six, 650 a night, which is crazy. But then if you did a, you know, 40 weeks at that, you're not even making the nut. You're barely making it and no one's going to do it. And uh, no one's going to pay. I mean, it's not a bad place for a millionaire TV show writer to bank cash, but I, I think you're, I don't know. I don't know. It's not, if you, if you have like 6 million bucks and you're a TV writer and you want to like escape and have a house like I have, which is like, in the woods, away from the city. This is that's where Ojai kinda is, or that's that's the function of that to, to work in LA but live in Ojai. Then yeah, it's not a bad home, but it, it is pretty steep per square foot, um, and not it's good. It's not great. It's a lot of money. Leroy Jenkum, thank you for joining. A uh, bunch of chats here. Bunch of chats. Oh hell yeah, hit him, hit him, hit him away. Um, Sean Kusek, love to see the boys back together. Going to finish up this 16-hour workday, blasting some scuff realtor in the background. Hell yeah. It is second monitor content, okay? But we can help you through your workday. You can, hey, and if you're a severe beast, you can go back tomorrow at work, Friday, when you're just begging to get out and go drink and smoke because it's the weekend. That's uh, right. We can get you across that 5 o'clock line. Uh, some, <laughs> of the old, some of the old streams, too. We got Thomas Gage with the 20 up. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's an address. I got it written down, man. You are in line, sir. Jeff A with the 48 CHF. I went from paycheck to paycheck to having 30 grand saved up at 23. Thanks to you and Sam. Bless you. Jed is till chill too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you only have the money because I yet told you to buy the silver. I don't say buy silver. I always say buy poppy blue nose poppy pit bulls. 
Yeah. That you want to make real money? Yo, you get a couple of them blue nose puppies. <laughs> you want to make, yo, I'm talking 2,000 in my piece, bro. They have eight of them. That's 16,000 a fucking pop. Pop, pop. That's real money. That's silver shit. You buy like 2,000 over the What's it got to be worth? 2,200? Come on, man. The puppy turns turn nothing, <laughs> nothing into something. It's like seeds with $2,000 fruit. <laughs> A blue nose, but no, thank you, bro. I, yeah, I, that's thanks. awesome to hear. I'm glad you're making. I, I keep it up, man. I, uh, sa having a savings account underneath you is a nice feeling. Don't don't lose it. And it's, keep the wind in your sails, buddy. Base dollar. Thank you for the ten, man. Thank you for all ten of those base dollars. NPC six two eight one nine with the twenty five. How do I send the house link, Nick? What do you think about the Ocean Gate sub thing? Well, first of all, how you send the house link? You don't. You got to type it in code. Look at the other uh, NPC. Look at the other super chats. Go back. So you find one who's typing crazy code uh, instead of drive, they'll put DR1VE. You just send a super chat with your address. I write it down, Nick types it in. We pull it up and we tell you if it's good or bad. Uh, if it's your first time here, man, um, yeah, man, send, send us one through and, and we'll get around to it. Um, but what do you think about the Ocean Gate subs? Yeah, man, I think, it, well, it's obviously a distraction to put together a, 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 public, uh, a public, public funds to, uh, to put a bank together to rebuild the Ukraine. It's probably a war deal, a distraction war deal. But um, crazier than that, uh, I would like to hear, I, I, Chuck probably has a better take. Yeah. He's probably like, who are those actors? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all great. But yeah, no, the, uh, I don't know. I don't, I'll probably get shot if we say anything. The fucking, there's a, there's a black suburban eight lugger pulling up my driveway right now. There's a sniper up in the trees. I saw it when I pulled up. He was, he's a sloppy sniper. You yeah. can see, he like, we can obviously see him climbing yeah, a tree. I saw a cigarette shoot. butt fall out of the sky. He's I like, was like, he fuck? fucking farts. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, he's lazy. He's like the worst low, key, like low class fucking str sniper you've ever seen, like hired to kill us. He's yeah. like, are you Jet? And then he just points the gun right at you. <laughs> He's like, my, my night vision's out of batteries. Can you bring me, can you bring me some C's? Yeah, you guys got any, oh, uh, what are these things? Du is it double A or triple I always fuck this up. <laughs> double A, triple A. You got both? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what happens. Portuguese pork chop with the 20. I make a mistake. My girlfriend, new dog. We were playing rough. I crush his body all over. I put a bag and take it outside. <laughs> you roll over. I was sleeping, and I roll over and crush his head for eight hours sleep. I so sleepy. I knew he... <laughs> I knew he, like uh, SIDS, I give the dog SIDS, I roll over on the puppy head, he, he die, he, I feel him squirm, but I was so tired from working that I had to stay sleeping. I knew that I could not lose my job, so I had to stay sleeping, he die. Clown College, YouTube with the 20. Nick, what do you think about buying houses in military towns uh, to rent to soldiers? My hometown has some cheap houses right next to the military base, but lots of these GIs are crazy. Uh, how did you come to live on the junkyard boat? Thank you. Well, I was um, a quick, a very quick answer to that question. Uh, I was working the summer painting Honda Civic hatchbacks that we were picking up from uh, from what's like the part, the big lots. They're just junkyards. Uh, you pick LKQ, apart. Uh, pick pick apart LKQ. Pick apart, yeah. yeah, there's a couple of nationals. We were just like pulling doors off of them, putting them together, and painting them like bright yellow, selling them to like Mexican guys. No, they were, they were probably going to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Really? The EK yeah. hatches are yeah. big, mm -hmm. big, big, big deals. They're like the fucking Mustang of, of Puerto Rico. Yeah. Good. And then you got the boat. Well, then that's you, where I slept when he I was slept. doing that work. I was like... It's kind of a clever boat. move, though. Yeah. Low-key, that's kind of a smart move. Oh, my God. Like a boat with a bed in it? No. It was oh, like it was like fucked. Oh <laughs> like shit! Fucked. <laughs> I, oh, I thought it was like a, like a like a fucking card player like no, left this big was, dumb boat there. That's no, like even if it's fucked, it's still not a bad yeah. low key move. It was, no, it was, no, it was, it was a fucked. nice boat. It was just old and fucked up. And oh, like moldy fucking, and shit. Oh god, yeah, it was just a, crazy. Has a boat smell to it? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, not a watery one. Well, like a mildew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boat. Yeah. Bo yeah. Last one, Bennett Boot with the 25. Yo, Nick, I want to send you a gift. I feel like you might have it already. I got sick team sesh rolling tray. I feel like you should own. Uh, thanks for the entertainment and elevating my taste in homes. Oh, man, I appreciate that. You don't, you keep that and impress all the cool ghosts that you hang out with, that you have the team set, all the clear people that are invisible with blades. To, uh, all this, all them, uh, all the the chillest vamps that you hang out with. The chill vamps. Um, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I've been talking no. too much. You want to do yeah, this Elmo, Elmo's been a... Uh, so this dude won this house. We looked at the stream last night. Con dude, congratulations on this house. Please, uh, first order of businesses, take a look at those floors. 
clean them and resurface them yourself. Look in how to do it. They're not going to be in bad shape. I'll bet you they're not. You have tack strips along the carpet in this room. Why don't you go ahead and rip that some of that? I bet you that carpet's clean. Um, white paint the ceilings for now. Don't don't do too much. Power wash this with a rented power washer. Um, pool chlorine is what you're going to want to use for that. So you spray on the pool chlorine with a five dollar sprayer, and then you mix that in. You got nice cheap dirty storage. Don't try to finish this. Just make nice dumb shelving up here. That's first order of business. Screen this with a with a fence, a fence pole here a fence pole here a fence pole here up and just hide this fucking thing but leave it because it's good free uh airtight uh weather tight storage for the most part um a decent landscaping somewhere you're gonna need a backyard somewhere uh you got a stuffed garage make sure they get everything out of it leave the shelving and uh any spare parts but great house man you gotta even i even like the foundation planning is good uh don't when next time you trim these bushes let these things grow together um for a couple of hundred dollars more, you could get these these bad boys growing. Make sure you get the same species. But what, what what you're not supposed to do is they were supposed to run this hedge perfectly, and it would have connected if they weren't idiots, landscapers. But uh, aerate the lawn and, and get the, 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 the keep it. Don't go crazy. Don't go nuts right away. Um, you could do a twenty-five hundred dollar soapstone countertop on this on these cabinets, and it'll look like a, a cool thing. Soapstone, dark gray, up the wall, new appliances and cut this stupid uh, country thing off the window. Maybe even paint the cabinets, but uh, this is linoleum floor, but go slow, man. Go slow, just enjoy enjoy that place. But this this is a nice house. I love the step down den with the fireplace in it. Um, some paint and some, look up wallpaper from the 70s.com. I think wallpaper might do you some some easy instead of painting. Wallpaper from the 70s.com is a really good resource. You get some, they're not, it's not all hippie shit. There's some dope shit, just go to it. Uh, a few members, Couchman, thank you for joining. Uh, we got Jerry Chaps upgrading to Freak Monster Nasty. That is a, that's a good upgrade, my friend. Thank you for that. He added the leather. Yo, you got leather and you a got moon, leather trim now. moon roof. You went and got the moon roof. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, Seven Cottingham Drive. Another, almost the same house, 339 in Georgia. So we're in Virginia now. We're a couple states down in Georgia. Um, similar house. I mean, this this other fella just bought a house very similar. Almost, it's almost odd with the. Uh, look at Zillow just being slow, just playing games with this jet. You gotta get Zillow Plus. Yeah, we get we gotta upgrade to Zillow Plus, and I'll be fast when as soon as you go to Zillow Plus. Um, so this has new hardwood floors throughout. Um, those are bad. The kitchen tiles, fucking dog shit. The kitchen's absolute shit. No big deal. Um, Redoor them. Not take the island out. Mm, might want to work with a kitchen designer. Part of this wall might come out, but there's definitely AC. Uh, there's duct work in the, that wall. Um, I like the door upgrade on the back. It's not great, but pretty good. I, I I like the house. I like the house because it's an easy sell. It's the Honda Accord of the house. It's not going to fuck you. Oh, the bathroom's redone. Yeah. Yeah, clean the grout. Not. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't even hate the vessel sink. It's not, not bad. They used an old uh, oak, Mission Oak desk. The exposed plumbing. Um, yeah. Okay. Covered porch. Built-in shed. Little walkway. Smart. Holland stone gray. I actually have this in my backyard. I was also cheap at one point. Uh, I'm ripping it out. But no, no, not bad. Um, actually, if you kept... This brick is okay. This border is not. So if you ever fix this or modify this, you can re... I, just, just keep it. Just plant around it. Um, nice piece. They... They photoshopped the grass, obviously. But the uh, the Unilock paver driveway was not cheap, uh, even though it's failing. You can have a good paver guy come in and make it all neat again. A decent power wash will, will clean that up. Double driveway. Nice house. Uh, go for it. I would say go for it. Don't know the area, but 66, 180 bucks a foot, brick facade, floor to ceiling windows, large rooms, good layout. It's the kind of stuff I would point to. Better than a fucking builder's grade piece of shit college girl house. Bunch of chat stacked oh, up yeah. here. We got Alex Lacarino. Thank you for joining. Uh, Mr. Party Hog. Hey, yeehaw. Uh, King Gunna. Thank you for joining. Thank you guys for joining Severe Beast. Uh, Moonwalker with the Generous Five. Hey, man. Thank you. Uh, moving on here, we got um, Duke of Hurl with the 25. Nick, I'm ready to hit up estate sales and insult boomers with low ball offers, but I need an expert dealer hat first. When's the restock? I think we might be running restock down. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna kill that. Yeah. We're gonna kill all the the that that stuff. We're only gonna stock the, the staples. We're gonna keep the pantry items. All the the one offs, one and done. So, I don't think we're gonna be doing that. I don't to think check it's, stock X. 
Time to check grails. Yep. You have to go on the grail and stock X. You have to get the old Fubu. You have to get the old Carl Canai. You know what I mean? The Belor. The Belor Carl Canai. Uh, yeah. Uh, Slime ball with the 25 here. Nick, thoughts on the fourth gen 98 Camaro? Also glad to have you back on the show, Jet. Big ups on Fish Tank. I wore my Damiel shirt to the gym. It's a fun game. Um, by the way, guys, I'm just filling in for Chris. I wish I could be with you guys every Tuesday and Thursday, but uh, if you want to see me, you need to encourage Chris to get sick and to drink, <laughs> to like put his mouth on a public water fountains and suck the water right out, <laughs> and uh, you know not you know not wipe and and just. If you, if you if you encourage him to get his health low enough, he'll get sick often, and then I can be here more often. So just uh, give encourage Chris to stop bathing and, and start eating stuff on the ground and stuff like that, and yeah, maybe I'll come back. Seeking out tapeworms. Yeah. Hunt, a tapeworm hunter. Getting really good ringworm. Get, getting, like, knowing where to find it. Yeah. Like wrestling mats. <laughs> like wrestling mats in, like... <laughs> Like the with the laziest janitors, yeah. he knows where lazy school janitors are. So there's a lot of filth. Yeah. Yep. Uh, a fourth gen ninety eight Camaro. But uh, the good pickup right now. Never, a, never a big fan of. Never a Camaro guy. I like the. I, I'm a, I'm a sixty eight Camaro guy. That's the only one I like, and I'm not really that excited about it. And I don't, I don't even like him. Although I, yeah, I did drive a, a fucking twelve SS one time, and it was fast as shit. Nothing against them. It's just not my steel, my steez. Uh, Glamorous Jasper says, uh, 2700 N-Word Valley View Roach Ass Land, Oregon. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's... that's uh... it's just a fake ass. Oh, it's a fake one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. George with the 25. Nice watch, Nick. Love the <laughs> stuff I got from at Shamanics recently, but the leather, smoke, and wood candle isn't for me. Really? Oh. <laughs> well, you get fairy, you'll get fairy candles next time. Go to Walmart and get fairy candles. Maybe fairy I buy candles. something that, like a Christmas tree or something for you. No. Hey. I understand. Uh, TNT7373737373 with the 20. Jet, I bought your red shark boots from... I bought your red shark boots from the auction. Much love to the fish tank crew. Will you please sign them? Also, what size are they? Ten and a half. Uh, Lol, please tell me you don't have baby feet. Is that baby feet? I don't know. Lastly, was the 10K bid on the helmet real? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make sense that one of the helmets is 10,000. The other one's going for 600. Probably some people are putting fake bids out, but there might be round two of those auctions. We we auctioned off all the memorabilia for oh, the yeah? show. Yeah. It must be having fun. Yeah, it was crazy. They ended today. I still gotta review it, but um hey man, congratulations. A little piece it comes with a certificate of authenticity. If we manage to go ten seasons or something and, and uh you know, maybe that'll we'll get some ROI there. Oh, so. it will. Gun show eighty six D E with the twenty five. Nick, did you see the mechanical room prawn Robert Berger posted yesterday? Yeah, I put it on my Instagram. Yes, I had it on my Instagram. Um, this house sucks cock, man. I'm sorry. This one in Brook 74, Russell Hill, like, this This house sucks. It better be cheap. It's not cheap enough. This is $315 a foot in New Hampshire. Like, this is the shit I hate. It's got solar panels. It's just a big, stupid, dumb house. And uh, I'm done. I don't want to play this game with, the, with this kind of crap. I hate it. It has no fin. They didn't even finish it. It looks like lazy builder. Like, look at this builder. So just so you guys know, when I got when someone builds a house, in order for the bank to give the money, they have to put down a loom and they have to plant plants in front of it in order for the, the bank to be like, all right, Jet, you did build a house that you said you were going to build. Now it's a house. It is a house. Look, there's bushes in front. A foundation. <laughs> like, that's a real thing. Right. Or like, you need a top coat of your driveway. Some banks have different. Uh, like, you need to f show me a finished house. You yeah. said you were going to build it. Yeah. Now show me what you're going to build. So like, no gaffs. No, it was, and it's just... It's just every fucking cheap. I, I used to work for builders, and like I, I all everybody who bought these types of houses, they just lose, and that's why I hate these fucking houses. The square footage is there, everything's it's all brand. It's like a brand new fucking Honda. Like just no one Hyundai. Like no one gives a fuck about it. Like look at like it's twenty twenty two. You're putting in a nipple light. Like come on, come on guys. That's an IKEA cabinet sideways. It's just it's just cheap. Like everything's fucking cheap on the house, and you're paying three hundred and fifteen dollars a foot. Like build a new one. No, no. Sorry, don't care. Don't even want to hear it. House sucks. George with the twenty five Australian Nick. What do you know about the Illuminati arranged marriages and their relationship with the CIA? I wish I knew. I was too busy taking Spanish when I was in the CIA. I was when I went to CIA college. The thing the culinary about culinary institute of America, culinary institutions of America. The thing about getting shot by a sniper round is uh, it hits you before you hear the gunshot. Really? Yeah. 
So it's like, no! like it knocks the wind out of you. Yeah, it's like it's, it would yeah, be like this. I be, can still hear him out there. He's listening like, to his radio. It would be like, and then, and then, you're, and then you're dead. Wow. Yeah. This guy can't hit shit. He's listening to yeah, like, he's, yeah, he's listening to ACDC, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap. <laughs> he's ripping a, a Delta Eight vape. In the tree stand? Is that the big ones? The it's like the ones? fake weed. Oh, yeah, yeah, Delta. Yeah, he's fucking gas station weed. He's got spice. He ain't hitting anything. Go ahead, dude. Shoot away back there, buddy. You're not hitting fuck. You couldn't hit the bronze side of a fucking barn. Literally. Uh, Library 293. Hey, Nick, starting a design company and would love your feedback on logo and first couple pieces of furniture. We're talking to Burl. We're talking porcelain details and even talking carbon fiber. Shout out to Jet Fuel Neptune. Hell yeah, man. Um, what are you building? A lobby? What's he doing? Starting a design, yeah, design company. Feedback. Oh, yeah. Send me pictures, man. I'd love to see them. I'll be honest. I had a friend do furniture. He had an uncomfortable conversation with me. I will be honest. Um, this house is fucking incredible. I got to show you. This is like, this house. Oh my God. You know what? I just... Holy shit, this is John Stupid's house. <laughs> oh my god, I almost forgot. This is my first house. <laughs> hey Beth! Hey Beth! Our house is on. Yeah. Beth's stupid. She's she's the love of my life. Where's where's your heart? Oh, that's right. Oh man. Uh 10 feet in the air, double staircase. A signature stu a, <laughs> it's a stupid signature. Uh <laughs> I put the little fountain in there for elegance. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh man, this thing is loaded with stupid features. And people love them. I had, and honestly, here's the stupid thing. I got the best lot. Look, it looks down the fucking, uh, the, the, the waterway there. Uh, a couple of great things that we did here. Um, I like to let my children push their child's table to the back of the island of my kitchen. And then I like to leave the spices out when the photographs get taken to let them know I'm a real cook. This kitchen's made for cooking. <laughs> I kitty cornered my utility from my stove to make a real triangle effect because I saw that on HGTV 10 years ago. Even though I sacrificed probably 15 square foot of usable, uh, of usable space by being a fucking idiot. I always throw my signature rock maple dining room set that's worthless underneath a nice light that was from 1986 and a house that was built in 2005. I love the neon fleur-de-lis with graffiti. That's just cool artwork that I'm into. Mardi Gras, baby. Even though, oh no, I am in New Orleans. Cool, no rug, five fat ass couches with one coffee table and books on it that you can't read because stupids can't read. <laughs> Everybody knows we can't read. Come on, stop making fun of me. I can't read, who cares? <laughs> Hey guys, knock it off. I can't read. Who cares? <laughs> uh, I put the big ass fan. I got a buddy, Rick. He works down at the big ass fan. We're always drinking Becks together. And uh, yeah, he, he got me a big 60 inch big ass. So whenever I turn that bad boy on, it's like you're in a wind tunnel. That's this a good thing in a house. This shit is so real. It's so stupid. Look at this. I got another one for my room. I got the two bucks. I hang my hat on it. Got me a couple eight point bucks in my filthy room with a living room couch and non matching bedding. Great job. Oh, a nice big dog bed for my 90 pound dog. I bet you this place smells like a dog's dick. Wow. That's wood faux painted marble. A signature, sig a stupid signature. Uh, wow. Wow. This is, this is like, this is special. I'm not making fun of kids rooms. It's against my religion, but yeah. That's where little Timmy and Bobby lived. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is the stupidest house. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's like a beautiful playpen. architecture, dude. Jet, you like that? I can build you one. I would love that. Three hundred eighty-five thousand. Really? For the ba for that backside, I build them back first. <laughs> I throw a couple. Me and the guys throw a couple of walls up in the back, and we we have a back to front model in our framing. Very signature stupid. Uh, yeah, this is That's unbelievable. Unreal. Yeah. Oh, cool. Unfinished uh, boathouse. Yeah, this is a uh, 350. Uh, no, no, it's it looks like it's in the flood plains and it looks terrible and uh, it looks cheap to be honest with you. One of a kind property, right? If you call them the Venetian Isles. Um, who's selling this? Who's selling my house now? Oh, no, I'm not gonna. Oh, Nathan Bell. Hey, Nate. Nate sells all the stupid properties. Uh, yeah, good for you. It's cheap. At least it's priced cheap. Um, that's the ugliest house in the world. That might be the ugliest. The, like, when was it built in? 98 bucks a foot. Built in 06. 
06 installed with yard sale fixtures i mean it's, it's unbelievable thank you oh should we shut the, we shut these right yeah yeah oh thank god okay Oof. no no we didn't shut them yet we shut oh, them oh yeah Jit. jeez oh, where are we yeah. stream mobs right there oh hi, hi everybody okay. all right we got a time out. We're gonna closing. Oh yeah, did we overload ourselves or no? Uh, no it's gonna be a late fine. night. Hey, it's go fine. get go get your yellowtail wine, baby, because it's gonna be a long night. You go get your towels. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Well, hey, we're back. Yeah. Uh, a couple chats here. Nick, have you heard anything about the new Acura Integra Type S? If so, do you have yeah. any thoughts on it? Dominican I, voice. Everybody need to like the stream. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. The 2 liter, two, 323 horsepower out of a 2 liter with a 6 speed. I don't really care about uh, 3 pedal shit. Uh, but I'm a big Acura guy. I mean, it's a pretty... It's impressive. I mean, I, uh, I think they put... What do they put? 287... 264, 200, no, 255 horsepower out of my C-Class. And that thing was quick as shit. I, used, I leased a C-Class for, um, I leased a dented door loaner lease C-Class. Remember my C, my white C-Class mm -hmm. that I had? Um, the door was banged in on it. One of the drunk ladies took a loaner car and like crushed it and then turned it in. And one of the techs didn't see it. So like she got away with it. Oh, so we had this fuck. like $10,000 damaged C-Class that you could still lease for like one more day. And it was like a leftover in March and then we did the lease payment on it and it was like it was like $190 a month if I paid for it up front it was like here's four grand I get to drive a C-Class with a dented door yeah and I bought this thing called total lease protection where I could turn it in with $10,000 of damage for a thousand bucks and I drove the shit out of this thing and I mean I wrecked I drove it in the fucking field I did donuts with it <laughs> I, I fucking jumped it I drove it a uh, hundred miles an hour like over as f I wrecked a C-Class for two years or 20 and honestly I was pretty impressed with the, the durability of it um, but it was wrecked to begin with so um, and, and that was 255 horsepower yeah that fucking Integra that's a nice piece that's a nice piece Relic 95 with the 249 Norwegian Kronar. Hey, Nick, uh, I got a free Persian rug, but it smells like cat pee. Do you have any tips for cleaning the piss out? Uh, yeah, you can soak it in water with... Um, my guy says to... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a rug cleaning thing. Yeah. Like a video where I just don't tell any... I, like, I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sell rugs all the time. I don't know how to fucking clean them. Yeah. It's fucking have water or something. <laughs> oh, oh, it's dawn. Use a the dish we soap. We should do or, that. I don't fucking know. Dude. Do a video. <laughs> yeah. It's... Like really proper intro. Yeah. All right, guys. Without any further ado, let's get right into how to clean your rug. Uh, the your right antique way. rug the right yeah. way. It's like, I really have no fucking ah, idea. Fuck, dude, what do you want to do? Like fucking, it's just nice. It's such <laughs> a good. Look, another guy's going to buy it for more money. I'm just, I'm just moving it here. I don't know. I'll fucking clean it. Pull, uh, no, but I think it's Woolite is what they tell you. And then a little bit of white vinegar for color dye stabilization. But look up how to do that. Uh, Goese with the 25 salutations of much love to you guys. I'm about to mud flood my hometown to lower property value. I think Tartarian carpet bagging is the right way to go. Agreed. 100%, man. Oh, yeah. Um, something's got to bring those prices down. Whether you're throwing rocks and windows or, you know, mud flooding. Uh, Crunchy Bones with the 25. Hey, Nick. Jet, I'm 25 at 70K a year doing IT stuff. I want to snag a house in the crash, but I hate tech and I want out. I only have 15k on hand. No other skills to change jobs. Might hit 100k in the next few years if I stay. What do? Unfortunately, my man. If I'm being honest with you, and I'm being the uh, the older brother, when you have when you got 15 grand in the bank and you you're in the middle of the of a staircase, you're on a mission. All right. You can't you can't jump off the the carousel just yet. You you got you got more shit to do. Um, and I mean that in the nicest way. Um, stack your pile a little deeper. You you can't have those thoughts of. Uh, those thoughts yet where you where you want to where you where you want to leave unfortunately and honestly you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you left right now so suck it out but have start to you know if you broke out of prison right would you just run through an open door with no plan or would you figure out that a sleepy guard and a weak stone wall and a spoon and a uh one of the orderlies wants to fuck you and she'll sneak you out in her bronco too you know what I mean? Like shit like that. So just just keep that in mind. And time goes by pretty quick. You know, I know it sucks. I can eat shit for about three and a half years and I have to stop eating shit. And then in the last three months, I'm literally like insufferable. So I get it. Hang in there, buddy. Cat with the 25. I bought the classic timer, the title classic timer from the fish tank auction. The only thing with actual retail value. I might pawn it off or use 
It for something that goes boom. When does it ship? Rent is due soon. Thanks, Nick and Jet it up. Uh, probably Monday. We'll ship them out. Uh, but hey, congratulations! A little piece of history. That thing is so loud. Um, put it in your bedroom and turn the timer on and just, just kind of uh, think about the cell challenge. How it was going off. You'll see how loud it is, and you'll see that it's definitely over the uh, decibel limit that we could get away with. That's why I had to come yank it out of the wall. George oh, with the 25 Australian. I have a vague idea of what's happening, but not no certainty. A few YouTubers like Linus Tech Tips are in similar positions to what you are right now. We're going to fix this. Everyone is safe. We are. Somehow these two, these couple of morons screaming at their computers is going to just, is going to do something okay. Somehow. And Fernando, thank you for the 10. The last one before we're fully caught up. Squid Inc. Nick, I'm 39, 20K saved, make 100K yearly, moving from New York to Clearwater, Florida to find an unvaxxed wifey and make babies. My rent's 2300 place is fat as AF, but money will soon be tight. Uh, should uh, should I be buying instead of renting at this point? No, you should be renting. Um, find someone. If you're down there, find a, a snowbird that wants a deal where like look put an ad out somewhere with rental agencies that you're like a live in look up like how to do this business i'll live in your place while you're away and just keep bouncing to and you'll maintain their place try that first secondly uh go get a job in a marina marinas and all these motherfuckers spending there but boat people have no pain tolerance when it comes to money loss they will they will flush all of it down the toilet on a boat. I've watched it happen thousands, so has my dad. Um, go work in a marina or, or a bartend. Or a bartend. A lot of money at bars down there. Like the, the, the wild 80s bars. Because everybody's living in fucking Miami Vice world down there. Go do it, dude. Crunchy Bones following up with a 10 after you told him to uh, stick with his job and make some money. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate it, man. I will stick it out. Yeah. That is the right thing to do, man. Thanks, man. If you, if you, if you quit midstream, you, you, you'll, uh, you're just dripping yourself, man. Nothing good comes of it. You have to start over somewhere. You know, like, just keep the shitty job for a little while and just give yourself enough time and money for a plan the way out. And that, that'll sort of, it, it'll honestly make your time while you're su sucking cock in hell a little bit better. Um, at least for me, it like motivates me. Like, ah, I'm almost out of here. I've been digging this hole for fucking blah, blah, blah. Now we got the Hulk Hogan. We got we, the Nick Hogan. You're gonna want to keep this one, brother. I love. I mean, this this house is almost dog dick fuckable. This house is almost jumping a pit of horny Dalmatians. This is put some Spanish fly in the dog. <laughs> put some Viagra and Spanish fly in a dog bowl of a of a of a 101 Dalmatians, literally. <laughs> And then I'll crawl into this thing for this uh, this beauty. I like the neighbor's house. I like their house. One one. I mean, this is this is all of it. I love this shit. We have these in Rhode Island. Um, it's pretty cheap. It's a pretty good deal. Gross Point, Michigan. I mean, look at the limestone entryway. Jesus Christ. I mean, I've been scanning through this. Like, look at the the grand foyer. Step down. I mean, it's it's fucking Ethan Allen furniture to puke, and uh, but the kitchen tiles are uh, cheeky enough to not piss me off. Uh, but it's that's not bad. Uh, I'd actually wouldn't even fuck with it. It's like close that the chandelier is a little too milf core. The knockoff silver or antique washed Ushak is ten thousand and new, so good for them. And then uh, the, all the resto hardware with the bad paint. It's very collegiate designed. Um, money. You can, it's a finance bro with money. I can tell. Um, I can tell by the. Uh, the Timothy Ulton or the Restoration Hardware Airline Series desk that it's bro -y. and the chandeliers tell me that he's got a, a pretty wife um, but good taste overall I mean nothing nothing puke bad and the house is unbelievable and it was updated so they probably had to update the electrical and, uh, behind that and the plumbing but a uh, nice fucking piece nice fucking piece million bucks Michigan's nice man I'm, something good about Michigan we got two chats here one from G with the generous 25 left a mentorship with an eccentric asshole millionaire and I'm trying to make use of the new business knowledge as a renovations contractor just closed on a 60k house flip contract first big one any tip going forward to not be poor 
Get a pad out, buddy. Start writing down everything. Live in that fucking thing like a psychopath. Sleep in it. Have every step figured out. Every day, every person that walks on the job, have their names ready. Have their workload ready for them. Have your material. Load your dudes. Load yourself. Make sure you go. Right when you're tired, treat the last trip to the supply house like a fucking blunt run. So when you can't even move anymore because you've already been working so hard, treat the supply house run like a fucking time to smoke half a joint and go get a Wendy's soda and then go and like spend three hours in a fucking Home Depot getting all the shit you need for tomorrow. High as a kite. Yeah. That's what I used to do for years. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. I'd go get the paint. Sounds nice. The rollers. You know, like the floor, the sandpaper, the fucking trim, all the boy. At the end of the night when I was like, oh, I'm so fucking tired. But it was like, that's my break. And then, then you're done. You bring the shit back to the job site and then you go to sleep. Yeah. Wake up and do it. Just be all over it, my man. Like fucking crush it. Good luck. Thank you. Just attack it. Alexander Lacarino with the 25. Hey, y'all. Papa teases, but he'll leave me his home when he passes. But first, I have to pay his son half value around 200 k according to them. Uh, it's nice land and area, but it's old AF. How do you go about this without getting succession? Treat your entire life like it doesn't matter and don't even pay attention to fucking not good deals that are like given. Any, any deal, anybody out there inheriting land or inheriting a house with a mortgage on it, don't even play. Don't even get involved. Let me tell you something. Estate shit is nasty. It's a long, long, drawn out process. Do not bank on it because you know what it'll do? It'll make you lazy. It'll make you be like, ah, oh, I don't have to worry. I got $200,000 equity of a yeah. house coming. Don't. Unless you have like a lock and it's one-to-one -one and it ain't going anywhere else. And it's like, this is grandpa. Grant, you've always been grandpa's boy because I fucked you. Here's your hush money. That's the deal. <laughs> right? It's grandpa. You remember? That's the deal. You said. Or did you forget? <laughs> You're getting hoss. <laughs> it's free and clear. Uh, but no, um, honestly, that's that, that's the only circumstance. No. Uh, but if there's like brothers and people involved in getting pays off, lawyers, estate, it gets sloppy. There is almost nothing on the plate left for you when you are done. In a lot of the instances, so do not think it's like, oh, I just have a $400,000 house and there's only a $200,000 note. No, 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 no. Who's what? paying the bills in the meantime, probate, all that shit. Yeah. What if the table was flipped and his brother was the one paying him? Mm. You think you'd get your money on time? Do you think you would get him the, do you think he would get you the 200 grand that fast? Just keep that shit in mind. So no one but back off the gas because they have their parents' house coming to them. Seriously. It's fucking crazy. Horn Pub with the 24. Hi guys, I recently quit my bachelor's degree. Uh, I do have a degree in international business, but I don't want to slave away in an office. I used to work in fashion sales uh, and maybe want to transition into car sales. How do I start? Fashion sales is cool. Um, I don't know, man. Car sales, luxury car sales are kind of, I, I saw a little bit of doom in the streets today. I'll be honest with you. So what? just, just the, the floor is dry. Yeah. My, my buddies, the, just the, the stories are three years old. Luxury cars burned a lot of new, like Hondas got expensive. People jumped from Honda to Mer Mercedes, Audi, BMW, et cetera. Then they got a little burned by the maintenance costs. Now they're kind of the floor backed off a little bit. And now it's flooding back into Ford, simple Mazda, like simple shit. Acura, yeah. you know, like those cars all of a sudden become, it's not a coincidence, guys. It's fucking, it's, they know it. We know it. So cars in, in your fashion, you're probably cool. You know what I mean? You probably have a good eye. You're not going to want to sell fucking Fords, but you got to go where the bulk sales are. And that's the unfortunate reality. It might not be for you. Uh, but if it is, uh, Toyota Lexus is going to be hot. Lexus is the hot brand right now. Um, keep your eyes on that. If you want to make money, you go work at a Lexus dealership only. Seriously, I'm not even, Lexus or Acura, that's it. Lexus is even better than, Acura's are too boutique. They play a, a game with numbers. Lexus does not play the same game. They flood the market. Go with Lexus. Last one here, Adrift at Sea with a 25. Yo, I love the simplicity of my 1989 G-Wagon. Right. Crank windows, gray plaid Recaros, uh, but want airbags. Thoughts on safety versus style, and if the 07 plus the Gs with curtain airbags are worth the electrical complexity versus earlier years. Uh, yeah, because you can probably upgrade. You can sell that 89 on Bring a Trailer. I almost bought Pete Sampras' two-door 1989 blue two-door G-Wagon. It was Pete Sampras's. I could have bought it for 13.5. No, he wanted 15.5. I offered him 13. He said no. It was in California like 10, 10 years ago. That's uh, nine years ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, you probably get a good price for that car. And you could probably buy it. People don't like the 07s. And I'm, yeah. I don't think if, you, if you're worth it, if you feel like the maintenance problems, but yeah, the, the, the 89 or the older G-Wags, they ride pretty tough. The 06s and 7s, they get a little, a little nicer. Yeah. I'd say, I'd say go for it because you're going to get a pretty decent number for that car. 
And the yuppies want the 89s for some fucking stupid reason. Drive like shit. Um, I'm going to take a leak. I'll bear back. Yeah, we're flying out to 1418 Wise Avenue. And I don't know if this would be wise to buy. I mean, the yard's nice. This house is a fucking dump. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. It's just a full gut. But I like... You got water all over this thing. It's pissing. It's just filthy. I don't care about that. Um, the plumbing's shit. Um, this needs a new heating system. It definitely needs to just clean it out and paint it. I like that. Do you have water dumping in the back of this property? A oh, it's got a fire damage. That's fine. It needed a roof anyway. Just have a roofing and siding guy come like button this thing up. Do all the windows. Uh, I would go out and shop for some windows on Facebook Marketplace. Four matching windows. Big as you can get. Um, do some railing over. Don't go nuts. If you buy a house for five figures, you are hunting for things on Facebook Marketplace to fix the house up with. The doors, the windows. Get real crafty. That's how, that's how you win on a, on a, on a five-figure house. That's what I did a lot. All my friends did them. I did them. I bought a house for cheap, short like this. You have to, get re you have to, do, you have to fix the whole house for like 19000 I'm talking end-to-end. -end. And you found like, and you did everything. You painted it. You put a roof on it. You did the roof with your boys. You built the railing by hand. You took the doors out. You, you, do, you work hours and hours. But it's a small square footage, so you're not going to be going forever. But um, do the f fine flooring surplus, shit like that. Start to stockpile items. Do that. Your kitchen cabinets aren't going to be matching, so get clever. Look up non-kitchen cabinets. Take down the uppers, shit like that. Like Keep these cabinets, lose these. Make this wall nicer. Move the fucking stove. Um, you know, or just figure it out. Integrate it a little bit better. You know, that's it. do shelves up here and leave this a little more open. But your wiring's gonna be fucked. You're gonna have some fucky things to deal with. But that's all right. You're gonna learn. You're gonna scratch your teeth down and nothing. You know, rub them down the gums. But that's a house where you'll learn everything. If you want to learn, I mean, that, that's how I learned. Fucking wanted to fucking just cry, scream crying into a fucking cockroach nest. What the fuck? You know how many times I've asked myself, what the fuck did I do? Over 10,000. What the fuck did I do? Over 10,000 times I've said that to myself. In the car alone to myself on house things. Oh no. But a house ones burn me the least. The car ones have burned me the most. Oh, this house is fat. 914 East Commerce, Altus, Oklahoma. Tudor, 269, 3,200 square feet. This is a nice piece. 82 bucks a foot for this brick Tudor. This thing is gonna have to have, nice, the sprinklers are making it rusty. So it says sprinklers and the hard water is making the brick rusty. That's what that is. It's got sprinklers though. It's telling me this bad boy, look at the look at custom wrought iron rail, all the custom detail. This is gorgeous. Better accent color. That tile floor is dog shit, but wow, look at this. Keep that room, don't change this room at all. These fucking cage front, oh my God. These cage front built-ins right here make me fucking hard. I would take these stupid ass details on them or maybe redoor the bottoms. But this this front over here, if you paint these things and light them, put put uh, good LED lighting and like nice colored LED lighting, you're gonna have a hell of a detail. Keep the mirrored walls too, fuck it. Um, hardwood flooring, take the wallpaper out. Even re-wallpaper it. I would re-wallpaper this whole thing. Wow, this house rules. Honey, we're moving to Oklahoma. Oak, wow, look at the fucking oak walls. I did this in a bathroom once. I did the whole bathroom, all boards, not this nice, but like that. This is why I always say oak walls, this shit right here. If you're clever, that's a cheap way to do it. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. This house is fucking dope. Even the galley kitchen's not bad. Just The lighting sucks. Don't, don't, don't go crazy. Lighting, fix the lighting. Damn, this thing's got like nine living rooms. I like to chill with fireplace, Oklahoma. If that's real and not, that's for Micah. That's shitty 1960s for Micah. That's rat. But if it's not, keep it. Oh, it might not be. If that's all original, keep that. Change the floor, integrate that. Don't lose it. Keep it all. Just find a really good way to make the colorways work on this. Please buy this house. I just assume people are just gonna buy these now because sometimes it happens. Please run to this house. Look at the back, oh, the walkout back patio. 
fucking grapevines. How's the sniper doing out there? Um, well, you get the batteries. Yeah, he he asked for a uh, Fanta, an orange Fanta. I told him we don't have any. It has some IPAs in the fridge, but he was like, "Nah, I got a problem with drinking. I just you can't really do that." Like, he's telling me how he isn't 26 anymore and all this, and it just wears on me, dude. And yeah. I was talking to Donham, that's my wife, and I said to myself, "I gotta stop drinking sometime." And that was 12 years ago, sober. So do you, you don't have orange soda? I'll just chill for a little bit. And is is the fat one in there, Nick? Cool. Let me just get him scoped up. <laughs> And then he shot, and he just he fucking hit your car. Yeah. <laughs> he was off by 80 feet. Yeah, he was been target practicing on my bumper. Yep. Uh, he said he had to scope it. He, he wasn't sighted in. He wasn't a... He, he you know, he came for a sniper gig, but his, he had to mount a scope for the first time. He mm. had to zero the sight in on the job. So that's why we keep hearing all those noises out there. He keeps dropping the Allen wrench yeah. from the top of the tree and having to crawl down the tree and get the small Allen wrench out yeah. of the leaves. Yeah, he's not good. He's a good guy, though. Yeah, good person. Shit. Hitman, CIA sniper. Yeah. Yeah. One of the worst. Um, I like the last one. 106 days on the market. Uh, go pick this one up. Honestly, don't care. Um, pretty good live. Cheap house. Great, 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 great piece of real estate down the road. Um, you know, so one of the things you can count on that if it was the, the, the 30s is like the, the year. That's when all the best stuff was like the real, real best, best was built from like 32 to like 58 and then there's like a second tier and that's like the 67 68 but the, just the houses are just so well the, the class of building the, the the grade of structure you're buying is so much better pleasant view pleasant view uh crispy cave here what's up man with the 25 canadian good to see you back jet uh i know i talk about my job a lot in these super chats but i love it and where it's got me, I really feel sorry for people who don't love what they do or can't advance. Jet it up. Hey, man. Well, everybody can get there eventually. You got to try. You got to try to do something you like. Right. Um, and if you are if you feel like you're not that guy, you got to become that guy. You got to uh, take a risk. Make it happen. Or else it's, yeah. Or, yeah, you know what I mean? Or else you just jump and dig a hole and jump in it. Moses IRL with the 20. Uh, for the former fashion sales guy, get back into it. Private equity companies are hot for men's tailoring brands. Transaction volume up 800% this year already from last year. Source, I run portfolio ops for a PE company. Wow. There we go. That's dope. Yo, get in touch with me, dog. Thank you. That's good information. Yo, that is like some good information. My boy is building an app that you can do exercises on the beach, on a jet ski. Like you like fitness, personal fitness. You can do a, like whatever you wanted to go yet ski, but you wanted to work on your core and you can do leg ups around the seat of the yet ski. You can do it whatever, but my boy has an app, right? And he knew the analytics for that. Yeah, but seriously, thank you. Thank you chat for reaching out and solving problems for each other. It warms my heart. Um, Thank you. One last one here from Thomas with the 25. Hey, Nick, I'm 20 years old and my dad died a month ago. He left behind two mortgage payments, one with a bit of equity, the other one, 375K left on it. I need to split it. Uh, should I sell one of them and rent the other one out and live with mom? Uh, you have an opportunity to kind of like test the water both ways. I'm sorry to hear about your dad, buddy. Yeah. Um, sorry, man, that's tough. Um, but you're you're in an opportunity now where there's one 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 nice apple and one one with a little shit on it. Um, roll, we're also in a seller's market, in my opinion, still. So roll the one that has the note because I you know I I wouldn't want to take the passing of my father accompanied with being a fucking landlord, even though a three hundred seventy five thousand note note tells me how much equity is on top of that and the one with it with clean equity. Um, kind of focus on that one unless you're telling me that the one with with the note on it is a better piece. Um, I need to know a little bit more about where, like, you know, what the loan, the loan to value of the house. What's the value of the house versus what's the equity position? And then basically what the holding, when you're looking at the two pieces, like is one a Ferrari and one a fucking Mustang or is one a fucking, uh, a, uh, like a, a, is one a, like a hot dog stand and one's a, a fucking a pit bull dog grooming trailer or, you know, like what, what, how good are these things? How good are the end holds? You know what I mean? You gotta like look at them and be able to judge it yourself and be like, do I, and then it, it, whatever one you had to like own and manage and rent, what comes with the most limits on you and when it comes to your time, how good of the quality of the house is, are you gonna have to make the thing 
nice that you're gonna have to spend money on it. Do you have money to fix it and whatnot? Um, if you can afford it, keep them, keep them both. Fuck it. You're, you know, is is the is the assuming of the three hundred seventy five thousand dollar no? Is the debt cheap? Can you assume the loan? Can you assume your father's loan through your mom? Can you take that three percent interest and keep paying it, paying on it by signing up? That might be a, a, a an option for you. So keep your eye. Those are all the factors that I need to know. But so maybe keep them. Take a look and judge them. I don't mean to be a non-answer, but it, it, a couple more factors kind of play into. I hope replay that. I hope there's something in there and just kind of write down those options. Uh, those those are kind of where you are. But if you don't want to be a fucking landlord, you have an opportunity to go. I could have stayed and I could have left and. I, I, I kept one, I sold one, one I made out on, thank God, and then one I have a little bit of money to play with, uh, or I kept them both and I'm gonna bite, choke down the bat, this is my investment, this is what my dad would've wanted me to do, or whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck it is. Um, but I wish you the best, man. Uh, and I'm so, like I said, I'm sorry, it's not, not fucking easy, man. Not easy. Nice piece. Which one are we on, by the way? Right here. Cool, all right. And I just got this. Elma. Yeah. Elma, New York. Yeah, that's a nice piece, man. Elma, New York, mid-century house. As long as this thing isn't like fucking retard price. Uh, how much is this thing? I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's off market. This house is dope. Yeah, this house is fat, man. Uh, oh, no. It's, yeah, three and a quarter. Yeah, you're all the way in. Uh, yeah, the dogwoods are great. You can prune these down. Nice piece. Uh Yeah, dude. Natural stone entryway. I love it. I, this, this is great. You don't have to do anything. Imagine this whole thing empty. This is just a great house. Mid-century paint. You know, the kitchen sucks. Who cares? Uh, the cabinets don't match the style of the house that was redone in 1998. Who gives a shit? Last owner was a little bit of a dipshit. Doesn't matter. The heating system needs a, probably an upgrade or a cleaning, but you're not going to have to touch anything. Uh, nice, nice home. Just stamped concrete patios. Okay. Uh, and the backyard's fenced in and, and, and established. Neaten that, neaten that hoe up, and look up a mid-century, uh, how to modernize a mid-century home. Look up the, uh, look up the the, the one point five million dollar examples of your home in California, or your home in, uh, like Massachusetts metro areas where people spent one point nine million dollars on that house, done with like glass garage doors, painted like jade green, finished to the hilt in mid-century style. Look up a version of that. You will find it right away. Revamped mid-century modern marvel. That's what I would look up. Um, and then just get all your design inspo on that. I hope I hope that's your house. I just assume that it is. But that house is fat. Camargo, Rhodes, Cincy. We're having a problem, actually. All right? Yeah. Um, it's not enough likes on the stream. And I don't know mm -hmm. how many likes we have, but it's probably not enough. And... No. It, it makes me feel unimportant and we don't like need a that. throwaway sideshow character yeah. or something it makes me yeah cry when i go home when i'm in the when i'm in my you know when i'm in my car You're driving home from here yep crying all the way home because we didn't we didn't get enough likes yep um, uh i understand and it it hurts it hurts my feelings physically it hurts it's like a knife it's yeah. like getting sniped by everyone, by all, by every, by twenty four hundred people, so being like, sniped at once is what it feels like when we don't have enough likes on the stream. And you, you've said this before, and then like I know you because you Facetimed me last time, and this yeah. was you in your car when you left. You were like, "Oh man, not enough likes." Yeah. And this is you, Southpaw, because uh -huh. you're a lefty. That's me. And then you gate shift your, uh, what's this? Your Lambo. <laughs> this is you, dude. Yeah. All the way home. Yeah. You jump in the Kuntak and you get all pissed off. And then you're like, dude, no one even liked the stream, baby. This is You have your tie on and you're a Sylvester Stallone porn star. Yeah. And then you just see all your friends dying. And you're wearing Hugo Boss terry cloth. And you're watching your buddies. And then you're making out with your chick. Um, oh, here you go. And this is you driving through the tunnel. Yeah, the tunnel on the way home to the Providence. Yeah, yeah, the tunnel in the home in the Lambo Mira or the uh, Lambo Kuntak. Really sometimes I just think about... Just cutting a hard left in that tunnel and just seeing what'll happen. And then you think of letting your brother-in-law gamble away all your your uh, earnings from the fish tank. Yeah. In a for, for fish tank too. Yeah. And then you have to have to fist fight uh, AIDS Tommy Morrison to get your money back from fish tank too. Bare knuckle. Because you're yeah bare knuckle in the streets. Um, 
and fight a <laughs> fake Don King character because your your brother in law gambled away all your millions that you had from the Lamborghini. But and I don't and we don't have to feel this. And way. we don't have to if you just hit the likes. <laughs> None, none of this of, would have happened. Yeah, <laughs> no, none of this happens, dude. If you just it's tap it's a, up to them. Tap, it's, just tap a stupid button. I need it. For my daughter, she said, "Daddy, are they gonna hit the likes?" I said, "I don't know, baby girl. That's daddy's office. He don't have a job no more. He collects like button clicks. Daddy's a loser, baby." No, Daddy, you're not a loser. And then I wipe my tear. Yeah. Yeah. And then I watch Mark Coleman ring cry with his daughters. And then I come out here and I do the stream with you. I say a prayer. I get down on one knee. And I come out here and I, uh, I, uh, I do a what's who's the Mark um, Mark I do a Mark Wahlberg impression yeah. to myself. You know, Nick, you have the most compelling uh, like button gimmick out of anything I've ever seen. It's, well, it's not a gimmick. You call me from the Lamborghini. Yeah. Yeah. I oh. wish I wish that was a grant, uh, a gimmick. I wish it was. But it's, it's not. It's remarkable. It's really remarkable. Uh, nope. It's, <laughs> it's not. None of it's a... Oh, uh, God damn it. Three, three yeah, chats here and then we're caught up. Uh, Gang Zulu Evil Wizard with the 20 jetted up. Nick, can we hear your Trump boasting about how he has the best weed? Bonus points if Christopher Walken is haggling with him over the price. I will like the stream from all's accounts. That he's got the greatest sativas and indicas. <laughs> I don't like the indicas. They make me sleepy. I don't like sleeping. I'm always working. I'm, I like lemon haze. I like the Cannabis Cup winner 2012 lemon ice haze. That's what I smoke. I smoke it sour diesel when I'm in New York because I'm a New Yorker, as they know. And uh, Christopher Walken is, would be like, uh, I killed the girl in a boat. <laughs> I didn't hear anything when I killed him in a boat. I've never done a Christopher Walken, but that's probably that's what pretty it is. good. Yeah, I didn't hear something when my friend threw a girl off a boat. <laughs> Omnipotent Apple with a twenty. Hey Jet Nick, seventeen year old girl and mom's five point Mustang totaled my twenty one Camry. I found an O three Land Cruiser with one hundred six thousand miles in mint condition for twenty four k after tax and title. Is this a gift from God or a terrible mistake? Nick and Jet it up. It's not bad. It's it's not it's a, it's an old car for 24 grand. Could you could you get it? Well, let me throw this out there. Could you get a 12? Could you get a 12 LX570 for 36? With a better finance rate? The car's old, you're going to get a shitty finance rate on it. But if you're not going to get it, it's a not it's a lot of car for 20 grand. That's going to ride an 04 I had an 04 Sequoia, which is the same thing, but that car's 9 grand. Just throwing that out there. If but uh the Sequoia's Drive a Sequoia and then drive a Land Cruiser and then make up your mind. You'll find a Sequoia a lot cheaper. I'm just throwing that out there. Tower X with the 25. Jet, I'm going to need an earnings call sheet from all the streaming. Fish Tank and World Peace 2. We may have to think about talent cutbacks. Nick, buddy, times is rough. Uh, you've been great up to this point, but sorry. Hashtag Shadow Boss. Oh, that's the, that's the, there they, they come. They give me the chop. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Electric Shed with the 25 years. Uh, have a good stream, guys. Hey, Nick, what does Tom York sound like again? <laughs> he sounds... No, no, hold on. I, <laughs> uh, I was watching Tom York a couple weeks ago, and I was, I was trying to nail him better. Yeah. I'll get him. I'll, I'll, I, I have to summon him. I'm trying to... I have to call It's hard to, to do you. accents. You got to, like, feel it. Yeah, and you have to be in the Tom... Especially Tom York. He's such a fucking... Free, he's made of moths. It's like jumping... It's like uh, starting to do an accent is the same feeling as, like... Jumping in a pool that you know is too cold. Yeah. You're like, do I do? do I yeah, do, do I don't I have it. it. I'm not there yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean with the 25 jet looking like Danny from American History X. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Somebody in chat said American History Jet, and I thought that was pretty funny. That's it. Hey, guys, I swear. <laughs> it's just, just a haircut. Guys. <laughs> My buzzers. All right, that's all for me. We're, we're uh, all caught up now. Yeah, we got we got some Dilf core in here. We got we got mm. uh, yeah we got Charles Twitt shirts and some golf Dilf core. Holy moly! Yeah, this is uh, let's check the this is a new theory now that if the exercise equipment is of a certain ilk. Mm -hmm. The the people are going to be a little too ridiculous with the price. This is that two thousand and eight money. This person made all their money in two thousand and eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's probably when they bought this. This wine cellar loaded right here. Whoa. It's an impressive wine cellar. We got a real drinker. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got a bourbon guy back there too. What's back there? You better not show me. I'll drink it all. Uh, pool table. Bad rug. Playroom for the grandkids. Um, 
This person is 57 years old who's selling this house. I'll tell you that. 57 or 58 years old. Bluestone patio. I mean, this house is fat. It's $7 million. It's in Cincy. It's got to be a baseball player. Um, love the two detached barns. Love the copper beach, the purple copper beach that you can't cut down once they are up. The uh, steps, what do they call this? Like this slag topped wall is a very old style. Uh, oh, the, whoever the mason was was talented. Um, it's, a, it's a very stylish wall, very st a good style. Not my favorite, but very good one. I love seeing it. It's very good to see that, that wall with the, the uprights on the, on the cap. I don't know what they call I forget what they call it. But um, up, upstairs basketball court, huge chicken coop, pool, all the extras. Uh, couldn't rebuild it. I'll tell you that. Couldn't rebuild that for 400 bucks a foot. No fucking way. Not bad. I'm not. It's, 97 is a bad year, but this builder didn't pull any fucking stops. He, they went for it. Um, I like it. I, I think the house is great. I think it's nice. I don't. This isn't a McMansion. This is an actual mansion. Um, the the Sistine Chapel shit in this Chippendale rat ass dining room set in this. Fucking modern French Aubusson custom made in these bronzes. I mean, look, look you want to see a $7 million house? Hold on, I'll show you something. See that? Right? I got that. I got that. You got $7 million house? Wait, you don't trust me? I got one of those. Same one. Who gives a shit? I got one. <laughs> Who gives a shit? I got one of those too. No big deal. Big deal, buddy. Prominently in the dining room with the other fancy shit. Antiques. Why antiques? People do shit like that. Stupid shit. His is nicer. Mine's Mercury. Anyway, uh, it's a cool piece. It, 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 I really actually like it. It's, it's got all the extras. I think you can refinish this thing, believe it or not. Like I think paint, I think a really, really good interior uh, designer decorator would actually do a good job, believe it or not. The pool is irreplaceable. That's a fucking bluestone gunite pool. That bluestone to do that now, that would cost you 600,000. Um, you couldn't rebuild this thing for 400 bucks a foot with the pool. 17 acres, double barns. I like it. I think it's a deal. I don't, I don't think it's that crazy. Um, I know. Hey, not always bad. Not all $7 million houses are terrible. I'd love it for $5 million. I'd, uh, just, just, I'm throwing an offer out there. If the guy, if the, if the guy will do $5 million, uh, I'll do, uh, I'll do 10000 a month for 500 months and I'll blow him. Uh, Liam O'Brien. Real deal. Here's the deal. Five, uh, ten thousand a month, and I'll blow you. Here's the deal. Just let you let me know when. I'm ready. Yeah. Mouth ready. I'll drive out there. I'm in Rhode Island. It's gonna take me. It's gonna take me sixteen hours to get there. I got an F three fifty. It's only gonna go eighty five miles an hour. Uh, you pull up. You get in the truck. I blow you. I give you the ten grand a month. My family and I move in here, and that's how it's gonna go. That's my offer. Take it or leave it. Liam O'Brien with a twenty five. Jet is back, baby. How are we gonna sneak Nick in as a guest in Fish Tank season two? I will uh, see. I was skeptical. So, truth be told, I was paranoid of this project. The, the funny thing about when you walk, there's like a small detail about when you're in the house is um, the floors. After like week two, two and a half, every floor in the house is like permanently slippy, like slippery. So I, I would be walking around in boots to like do a very, a very. I have to like go give someone a snack, and I'd be walking like this. That's what it's like to be in the fish tank. It's like. Don't slip and break your ankle on like yeah, yeah, yeah. on like tomato Const sauce and shit constantly. And I would go up there with mops and like try to squeegee off the the fucking uh, the stairs. And it was just like I, it's amazing. No one like died on the stairs. So it sure is. If you come, come early. This yeah, is, yeah. I'll come point. when the, the floors are nice and clean. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring the metal storm. It's fucked. Yeah. Um, oh, you got some good stuff. Oh there. yeah, we've been reposting. So if you if you need anything, oh you got yeah, it's a nice yeah, it's a cool one. That uh, means uh, Rocky Com. Four. Yeah, you go, please. See the website link up there? Just a little business. A wee little small business. I sell fruit on the side, mangoes and papayas and then the, the, the Rochen poster. Uh, but always. Uh, da, 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 da. We are flying out to Las Vegas, baby. Wow, look at the skies of this fucking living room. Is this, is this Rick Harrison's house? Pretty nice. I mean, this is like a Las Vegas class. I think we've seen this twice on the stream. This is the second one. Uh, brick vaulted, dome vaulted ceilings. What the fuck is that? Oh, look at that lamp. Oh. The, the, you know, the terracotta tone isn't like, you know, obviously I hate that shit, but like this thing was 
pretty stacked, man. This is like a, a fireplace in the got you know m marble of substance marble columns. Shitty. Wow, look at the size of the fuck shower on this thing. Holy shit, guys! Put the fucking soaps away, though. Jesus Christ, it's 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 millions. Put the soap away. You got the real rock star. Who's this? Chris Angel Mind Freaks house. You got sex studio for sl for sex slaves. Full arcade. Wow. A real player pool table. Real rug. Cinema. Damn. Wow, cinema with an entryway. Look at that. <whistles> Fiber optic ceiling. It's a nice piece. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it's, <laughs> nice. I mean, it's nice. It's, it's fucking nice. Yeah, this, oh, <laughs> fucking putting me. This thing's yeah, awesome. big maintenance. Uh, it's fat, though. It's, I Whoa. Holy the shit. We got a facility. Wow, we got a fucking... You got racquetball. You got batting cages. You got... That's the that's the kitchen in the in the playhouse, six car garage, big entryway. I mean the square foot. This thing must be a fifty thousand square footer. This must be a monster. It's nice. It's big. You guys are on fire tonight. These houses are kind of fat. This is not an easy thing to hit. And you guys are kind of hitting like that's a. I mean it's ten million, uh, but again, how are you building that again? You tell me. You know something magic? Oh um, six, five acres. How many square feet does it tell you? It sold for eight and a half million and eighteen, and it's up to fifteen. It's up to ten. It was up to fifteen. Well, they thought it was worth fifteen. Someone bought it for eight and a half. Just goes to show you, you folks there. The house was for sale for fifteen. The guy got it for eight and a half, and now it's worth ten seven. See how much it floats like that? Like it's nothing. They'll take the fucking deal. You know what I'm saying? So don't be scared of things. You know? I feel like that's like power to give people. Like just don't don't take everything at like face value. Like oh, it's six million. I can never talk about it ever. Like they're just they're just being dick. You know how many people just list their house just to be dickheads, to like brag. People do that all the time. Do you know that? Do you guys know that? Like rich people will just list their house for like a stupid number just to say it's like, well, we put it on the market for six million. You're like, Blanche, your fucking house is worth three point five million dollars. Like, shut the fuck up. Just so they can have a listing with their yeah to you like know, with their address to be like, well, we we listed it for six million. Yeah. And you're like, dude. First of all, you your dead husband built the house. Yeah. And I've seen people like flex like that, like. And the number that comes out of their mouth is always like 30% too much. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, cool, did you? Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, I, that's so funny. I was going to sell my truck for 270000 my, my F350. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my truck. It's, you know what? It's just, it's, I listed it. It's a 270000 If someone wants to buy it, I guess I'll leave. Like, shut up. You should be thrown down a flight of stairs yeah. by your hair. You know, someone should take you by your fucking hair and like heave you down a set of 30 stairs. One flight, no, no landing. Um. Yeah. But not bad. Now we're back to normal things. Six oh five. Back to real life. Back to real life for normal people like us, like me, like you, like Jet, and Letty, and Chris, and who are the, who are the, who's the most normal person? Vance. Yeah, just Vance. Just normal. Vance. People. This is the Vance estate. Off market. Uh oh. Well. I need to find this house. Is it Redfin? No, no, it's all right. Good. Nope. Oh, here we go. Yes, off market. One fifty three bedroom, two bath, seventeen hundred square foot. Nineteen hundreds industrial. Is this it? Six oh five. Yeah. All right. Original detail. Tile floor sucks. Twelve by twelve shit box tile. It's a shame. God knows what the fuck they ruined underneath that. Not a big deal. Thirty five hundred to get that back. L shaped galley kitchen. Oh, cool. You put a fucking what is this? A halfway house. Cool. Is that where heroin addicts talk about uh, getting raped at a fucking uh, petrol truck stop for hours, for years? And that was the first time I got stuck, if you know what I mean. Um, it might have been actually like a, well, wow, six by six posts on the deck. Brassy! I like the thick, the, the post thickness tells me something good. Yeah. The brick exposure down underneath here, nice. Like the deck. I actually like the house. The house is nice. Um, the original detail is good. The fact that it was a halfway house is a different story. You could use tile to bring it back to uh, original luster, and you can extend the kitchen into here, whatever the fuck they try to do. Just to, uh, but not a bad piece. This is an, that might have been a, this part might be an addition right here. This part right here it might be. So just check the the, the legitimacy of the addition where, where that part meets the other part. But this part um, been in many homes that have this area in my and just take this silly wave painting off the side of the fucking wall. So we don't have to feel ridiculous. Like Bill Goldberg designed your house. But someone in the house decided that uh, putting uh, 
nature Japanese nature print sheets over the windows when you're trying to sell a house and a cool wolf painting and a chroma key green room was a good idea too so I don't think you can trust too much as far as what the last finishes go based on the uh, the rest of it but I do like the house that, that, that doesn't mean shit yeah I remember one time one of my tenants I had this stripper and her daughter I got catfished on a tenant yeah uh, I had a multifamily house and I had a phone call that said Hey, my buddy needs a house for his gumada. Meaning an Italian friend who had some pull called me and said he needs a friend of his needs a house for his girlfriend. She's yeah. totally legit. She shows up in a Honda Accord with her daughter, her like seven year old daughter in a like a really expensive uniform from a school that I knew it's, it's an expensive. It's the most expensive school in the state. The daughter was wearing a uniform. Yeah. <laughs> she moves in. I didn't ask too many questions. I kind of owed some. It was like a favor thing, like an old fucking Italian thing. I was like, all right, I'll just take care of whatever. I'll give it to her for twelve hundred a month. She moves in. She pays me like two months up front. All good, no big deal. The rooms weren't completely painted. I had bought it. She's like, I want to paint the rooms. Is that cool? I was like, yeah, I'll fucking paint the rooms. No big deal. Yeah. Um. So I don't know why I did this. This is a mistake. I was like, the daughter, the daughter can pick her colors. She picks out pink with gold trim. And I fucking. Don't know why I ruined my house. I should have never. It's like I opened the door and I fucked myself. And um, she stopped paying me. I had to evict her. Had to go to court. It was my first eviction. Oh. She starts flushing toothbrushes down the toilet. Like just to be a spiteful bitch. All of a sudden. The, the, the only reason why the kid just had the, fuck up your the car wasn't her car. It was her sister's car. She's a deadbeat stripper. The only reason why the daughter had a uniform on is because she stuck it to her ex-husband. Who in the court deal in the divorce he had to pay for school. And she found the most expensive school and made him pay for it. And I just got told she was the loser. You got roped in. I got roped in. I got <laughs> fucked. That's why I don't want to be a landlord. Shit like yeah. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but it was my fault. I was 20. I was intimidated. It is what it is. Um, but you live and learn. And it wasn't cool. Uh, 140 Prospect Street, Providence, Rhode Island. Am I stupid? Hold on. No, no. I'm sorry. Private road unit set. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I ain't sorry. Private road. Vershire, Vermont. There we go. Vershire, Vershire, Vermont. There we go. Vershire. Ooh. Wow, what the fuck is this? Unit, unit 7? Whoa. 579? Hold on. I need to... Yeah. Local artist her en and her engineer. Whimsical. Unique home. 39 acres. Why is it Unit 7? I don't care about that. Yeah, where's the other ones? Yeah, yeah. What, what's going on? Simple pleasure of roasting marshmallows. All right, enough of the sale. Is it a room? Oh, it's a metal siding house. I mean, um, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go light here. Wow. Jesus Christ. Metal siding bad. Corrugated metal siding, um, yeah. like this is mm -hmm. not good. This yeah. is this is like clever use of a cheap material. Much trash. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like spray painting tires in a playground. Yeah. And being like, okay. look, we helped the community. You're like, yeah, yeah, we're a great job. Cool diamond windows because you found them. <laughs> nice, you found them in the trash and you reuse them. So now all I'm doing is like this is this is sculpted artists and stuff. So there's just a pole here and then they formed like they didn't treat this uh, laminated beam. This uh, this is a metal post underneath here and she just like formed this out of concrete. Artisans formed. This is some real crunchy hippie shit, but I don't hate this stuff. The railing is nuts. They always do the railings psychotically. Inuit, in, in, Inuit style. Okay, a bunch of, oh, wow, Kamse rug, nice, nice piece. Vermont has a wicked good uh, grass cloth ceilings and walls for the fuck palace. Um, some etched etched glass doors that are found at a yard sale and repurposed. And um, yeah, uh, a restaurant sink repurposed for the bathroom with tile done by a hippie. Nice finish right over here. Oh, I like the vent through the bamboo oh. ceiling. Oh, bamboo ceiling is the ultimate worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like touch. just yeah. This I had that on Doyle. We had a bamboo ceiling. Really? With fucking uh, insulation, you could see it through the bamboo. yeah covering problems. Yeah, so stupid. This Memphis style kitchen cabinet, which is actually very in vogue right now. So this person was definitely made money in 1993. Um, but I mean, it looks it looks like Pee Wee Herman. It looks like a Southwest Native American Pee Wee Herman house on 37 acres, though. Yeah. 
Um, not bad. You you have to you have to really like. This is the colors make it look crazy, but uh, I would like to get up here and jump on the floor. If it's if it was a well built piece, I would peel back some walls and like take a look at the framing plan if I could. But it's it's a hippie house. It's got decent square footage. It's got a whimsical lots of bedrooms layout for a uh, for an Airbnb, middle of nowhere. I don't hate it this much. It's psychotic, so it's not going to sell. But 40 acres and a 3,200 square foot dwelling that can be Mickey Moused. You can like make, you can hide this in weird ways. Like this is painted plywood. You'd have to do some stupid shit. And it's not a, at 575, you're not in the price point to be doing stupid shit on a house. You know what I mean? But it is, it isn't bad. It isn't like, um, it isn't the, it, it's, it's not, this person's not being crazy. Gotcha. I don't see it. Terrence, uh, oh, there it is. My, uh, Terrence Crawford with the 20 says, my Chevy 2017 Silverado transmission went out at 150,000 miles. Got it at an auction and they never serviced it. Ugh. It's costing me sixty four hundred. Is this standard? I want to give him a phony check and then get the car, get my car before it bounces. Sixty four hundred is a lot for a tranny for a, a seventeen Silverado, one hundred fifty thousand miles. I mean, buddy, for anybody who buying a car at auction and trying to save themselves four, five grand, eight grand over premium, you're running the risk of shit like that happening. If there is a retail ready unit at an auction, it's a whore. I'm sorry. You know how many cars that, that we that I, I, when I worked at Mercedes we send to auction? Zero. Zero. We would sell everything. I'm talking, I would sell like 2002 Chevy Malibus out of a Mercedes dealership if it was a decent car. If it was real shit, we'd auction it off. And we'd auction it and you'd never see it. But if you were able, a public auction, a 17 at a public auction, you should run from that. Mm -hmm. That's like a hot, like Miss America contestant like crawling around on her knees at a dive bar in a prom dress. Can I? Can I come over? Can I sleep with? Can I move in? Is it possible that I could French kiss you, Mister Mister Toothless Biker? I'm just 21 and beautiful. I've just been spending thousands of dollars on my skin. I was wondering if you wanted to run your Budweiser fingers all over my face while you stand there in disbelief while I blow you. That's what a 17. At a, at a car auction should feel like to you it's just it's, it's like you know what i mean like that's crazy so sorry that happened to you no it's not the standard but some like my buddy i have a buddy like that he's just like a super fucking stubborn cheap motherfucker he's my best one of my fucking oldest best pals he is the cheapest motherfucker i've ever met and we, we war we war over truck buying and he's always showing me like shit like that like, look at this one dude it's fucking 22 grand i'm like andrew like knock it off dude just buy a fucking new truck. Like you're, this guy want you want headaches. Now you're dropping. I mean, good news is you only got a lot. You only got the top end of the motor to rebuild out the transmission's guy. <laughs> but I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry this happened to you. Don't uh, bounce the check. It's not the transmission guy's fault. Pass it along. Yeah. <laughs> like kindness, but it's just like ill will. Yeah, it's like the other one. Then the transmission guy goes out that night and like robs an old lady. Yeah. And then, yeah, <laughs> then like the old lady like. Claims sexual harassment in the hospital on a doctor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He then, touched my pussy. <laughs> you touched my pussy. And the doctor, like, <laughs> gives uh, the wrong baby to the wrong lady on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, this is 100% your baby. Pass it along. And then that baby, <laughs> go, then that baby goes on to be uh, Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Two. Julian, you, thank you for joining. He touched my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> she gets him fired like that. I was sleeping, and I just had my jello, and I felt his hand on my pussy. <laughs> he grabbed it. I have it on my iPhone. She's blackmailing him. <laughs> Rory Watts with the uh, 20 Australian. Hey, Nick, Aussie here. You gave me some help about uh, business leasing a Mazda. My old 626 died. It's Australian, so it's not common for individuals to finance vehicles. They pay cash here. If the business has cash, should I buy a car outright? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, auto loans are 5.5%, 7% is a depreciating asset. And, you know, here in this country, we finance it. 
because our inflation rate's what nine percent. Well, the real one or the, We're the real one? one? What's the real one? What's the government one? Uh, I don't know. Probably if I were to guess, what, like fucking 20, 25. <laughs> That's how much my rent went up in a year. Yeah, you're right. Thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. That's how much food. Yeah, has food's up. Yeah, or so, costed more. So I don't know. Sometimes debt seems expensive, and, and it isn't. So I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, if you buy, yeah, buy it. Just I don't know. Start with the safe bets, man. The, the Toyotas. Don't be don't be buying fucking don't be buying Camaros, no. Holdens, shit like that. Why not Zoidberg with the twenty? Nick, looking to propose to my girl here soon. Where can I get a nice ring? Also, what tasteful things can I do to increase the value of the house? Previous owner half asked a lot. Mm -hmm. Went all in on the Home Depot specials. God bless you. Mm. Wish you get the ring. Yeah, antique shops. Another fella bought his girl an antique shop on the stream. But his bought his girl's ring at an antique shop. I think the ladies. I mean, there's a, the. I don't know if you know, Jet. There are over twelve ladies here tonight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there are twelve. I mean, we could be as high as fourteen at this point. It's sickening. It's getting. I never thought we'd be this far. There is so much. There are so many hotties in here. Yeah. So many, and uh, I think the, the 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 common consensus is that they don't care about. A fucking big fancy diamond. They don't yeah. want to. You know what's. You know what's sadder than getting a big fancy diamond? Watching a guy that can't afford it try to play a game he shouldn't be playing. Yeah. For you. Yeah. For your love. So any of you ladies expecting big diamonds out of there? How fucking yeah, okay. All all you need to do to love me is show me something that you can't afford. For, <laughs> that adds no fucking value to our relationship as yeah. a whole, but that can literally cripple us economically. Yeah, how much so, do people pay for? Uh, that's something I don't. Two know. months salary. That's the that's the you know the old saying. Yeah. Even if it's it doesn't matter. Even if it's, it should be an onion ring. It should hurt. It should hurt when you buy it. Yeah, you should. That's how you show what you love. That's how you no. know. That's one of the things from the old school that can stay in the old school. Go buy an antique ring from a fucking crusty ass, dull, dead, broke old lady. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Give me the fuck. Stop fucking around. No one's buying it. Shit's fucking ugly. What do you want for it? Twelve fifty. How many carrots is it? Psst. No, it's not. It's a mine cut diamond. Give me six no one fifty. Yeah, I'll give you six fifty. Yeah, six seventy five. <laughs> six twenty five. Final offer. You just said six fifty. You touched my pussy. My ATM limit's five hundred dollars. I'll be back tomorrow. God you, fucking damn it. Yeah, <laughs> give me the ring, and I'll bring you. Let me give you a buck twenty five next week. I can only get five hundred out a day. It's if there's a limit. What you never been to an old uh, an ATM machine? You dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> You're in the middle of an antique store negotiating with like a booth owning old lady. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, man, go to an old, yeah, but, uh, congrats on that. Yeah. Was that, was it? Yeah. Uh, two more here. Ethan Olfrey, thank you for joining. And last one before we get back into it, Kaz with the 25. Hey Nick, I have 175 K in savings selling sneakers online, 80,000 in inventory. I've been looking for yes. a 2014 to 16 era E63 mm -hmm. for 35 to 40 K ish. Is that too much money to spend on a second car for my net worth? Uh, my first car is a paid off civic. As long as that Civic's running strong, my man. I mean, you're 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 speaking my language, my buddy. Um, you want to buy one with tires and brakes done. That's all I ask. Those tires and brake jobs and the uh, there's major mile services on the 63s. Make sure they're completed on the Carfax because they are no joke, and you kind of can't trade them. You can't trade out of the car if it's not properly maintained. Make sure that mileage story is like two, 3,000 miles a year. Don't be rocking that thing everywhere. You break something on that thing, it is sad. But you are looking at the best car that Mercedes made in the last 20 years, period. The E63 from 14 to 16 is the best car they've made as far as like a normal car that people can drive. It's fat. I love it. I agree. Um, I'd go for a wagon, but that's just me. Um, get a weird color one. Make sure you try to find one in like uh, like barolo or something like that or some weird color anything but go for it the weird color mercedes e63 not the gray one not the black one not the white one the odd color one go for it are there iridium silver ones actually cool i'm not a big silver car but that car looks particularly good in iridium silver um very nice good uh, yeah yeah i mean it's stupid but i'm not gonna be able to tell you no i can tell you're a sneaker guy and honestly if i was selling that much money in sneakers i'd want a little uh I'd want to be rocking around an E63 to some of my big, all my Japanese clients. I know the Japanese kids come into town and they start fucking buying everybody's shit. 
Um, but yeah, no, it's just it's a good aesthetic. That that car will, uh, and it's a wagon, so you have a little table off the back of it, if you know what I mean. You set up at a set up at a flea market in a field. You open up an E63 with a table on. It's a pretty cool look. Maybe you got a few a uh, few players in the in the ring. We're going to Rainbow Ridge in uh, in recognition of Pride Month. Yes, we're going to Rainbow Ridge 89, 89 Just in 24. the nick of time. Perfect. Um, just and we are sponsored by Providence's Municipal Pride Month. Um, they give us four hundred dollars. Just should give them a shout out for all the good work they're doing. Thanks again for that. Uh, appreciate it. Before they they just handed me a cash four hundred bucks. A city solicitor <laughs> and said, uh, "Hey, Jet's coming on tonight." I was like, "Yeah, he's coming back. Chris is out of town." They're like, "No shit. All right, cool. Here's four hundred bucks. You guys have a stake on me." And they were like, "Bye." And then they rode away. And I was like, "Cool, man. Uh, Pride Month, Providence. So great job. Thanks." And um, we're out here in Las Las Vegas, Nevada, for some other, some more Las Vegas money with this beautiful salmon pie pink tub. Bad tile, replacement tile, bad grout job. Um, nice iguana, nice lizard back on a golf course. Rainbow Ridge Drive. Uh, first time to market, 750, two bed, two bath, small house. It's a small house. Those are good pictures of a small house. 350 a month. So this thing is going to cost you 5,500 a month to rent a two bedroom, two bath. I'm not seeing it. Um, Las Vegas whips, my man. What I mean by whips, I mean it reacts fast. I would, if I was living in Las Vegas, I would know that. And I, if I missed this house, I'd say, ah, fuck it, I don't care. Um, I don't. Las Vegas, Riverside, Phoenix, they they come up and down fast and hard. Um, if you bought this thing, you your main goal if you're buying a house in Las Vegas is please look at the fucking pricing matrix. Look at the house, how much it's ever costing. If you are buying the house for the most amount, of, you can't buy it. That's the fucking rule, period. I don't care. If you're watching this fucking stream and you're in like one of those southwestern, southeastern markets and you're looking at the price of the house and you're, pay you're the guy stepping up and swinging the bat at the top peak in one of those highly volatile markets where there are nine fucking million houses on inventory, you're going to make a mistake. And I'll, I'll, I'll die on that cross. I don't care. If in, in three years, one of your buddies buys one, I'll say, so what? I don't give a fuck. The other people who tried to do that got fucked. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, there's just too many. There's, they always scare you with inventory numbers. Buy them then if they're such good deals. Show me. You tell me BlackRock wants to be a landlord in Las Vegas? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm a huge banker financing wars. They're buying all the houses. Las Vegas residential real estate. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. I got one guy. He's a, he's a, a club promoter. His name's Derek. He's yeah. from New Jersey. This kid's got a lot of hustle. He sounds good. He, he uh, DJ Pauly D puts on a show at the Bellagio, yeah. and he promotes. This guy's pulling in over two grand a night sometimes. His roommate, DJ Marcus. Yeah. He's Austrian, um, and um, he's into art. Yeah. And he is. Uh, he's got his own glitter line with Alec Monopoly. It's really great stuff. And we're gonna. We have three thousand other like characters like this that are gonna expand the Black Rock portfolio of Las Vegas high end residential real estate. So that's where you're talking. They can't happen. It cannot be you guys. I don't care if you made money in Bitcoin. I don't care if it came money easy to you. You can't go out and start playing. There's just too many houses to the left and right of you. It's like walking into a, like a like a pile of fancy cars and you get in the shittiest one in the middle of the parking lot. Have a better eye. Got some chats here. <clears throat> oh yeah. Aspiring pirate slash writer here. Quit my job bartending because I couldn't stand the clientele. After the Tuesday stream, I'm kind of regretting it. Uh, Publish my coloring books under the name Juan Silvio or any advice for work? Sorry, man. I had to read it in that voice. You publish coloring books? You quit your job? You're sick of it. I got you. Pangea Supercorp. You want to leave? Go get, go get a job at a better bar if the clientele sucks. Yeah. Bartending is kind of... A, I'm, I'm fucking jealous of people with bartends. I swear. He instantly regretted it. Wow, so much pops of color here. I'm going to get back to that. Color. I'm going to get back to that. Um, yeah, man. Uh, shit. Coloring books? Are they, are they good? Get them on the most mommy sites ever if, that was a re if that's a real question. Do you think he's really pulled? Or am I getting my leg pulled? I'm, we might be getting trolled here. Okay. I, I, I just find it hard to... I don't know. I buy so many coloring books as a parent. Yeah. I just do. Yeah. And I'm like fascinated with the reality of coloring books. I'm yeah. like, holy shit, coloring books. Like I, I think about doing coloring what if, books. What if there's, what if there was a special cool like, coloring book? Coloring yeah, book. Yeah. yeah. Here's a picture of, um, this is a picture of Ellen slamming a gym teacher yeah. into a building with a crane. Yeah. 
and a fun little duck. <laughs> what color are you going to paint the fun duck? And then it's just Ellen in a crane slamming a, like a, it's, it's like a, a woman that's like on a crane getting slammed into the side of a building. And the kids can just paint him any color they want with their crayons. It's a little caricatures of Abu Ghraib. Like a, uh, like <laughs> Guantanamo torture. Yes. <laughs> and then there's like a, yeah, a little fish. This little is starfish. This is Andrew Breitbart. <laughs> what color are you going to color his silly nose? <laughs> what color is his heart attack gun? Whiskey yeah. mood with the 20. Hey, kids, my grandma passed away when I was a kid. Everyone uh, said she would be watching over me. How do I crank my blank without her seeing? There's no there's no way of doing it. You have to go. You have to turn, leave. Turn her favorite show on downstairs and her ghost will go down there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Put on Wheel of Fortune downstairs. Do what you got to do and then just... You know, you don't want her staying up all night, so go down there and turn it off. Mm. Base the dollar with the 50. Hey, Nick, would you consider using Power Chat for Super Chats? It works with YouTube now. Uh, we're working Streamlabs, my friend, but thank you for the fifth day. Whoa, I've never dang, heard of Power bro. Chat, yeah. What's Power Chat? That sounds new. It sounds like yeah. some new technology. Are you the CEO of Power Chat? He's a, uh, well, he has a partnership deal. Uh, he does. Yeah, and he has, a, if, if we express interest, he was going to give us a link or oh, a code. Yeah, a, a code, code, a discount code, over 3% <laughs> off. Terrence Crawford with the 20. I bid 22K for it and it was 28K after tax. So far spent 9K on fixing stuff. Should I drive it? As long as I can sell it. Uh, if I keep spending money like this, I might have to sell my body. That's the guy with the uh, the big the so big right. transmission issue. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, you're almost through the ne the woods now. I mean, you're just gonna have to drive the goddamn thing. Um, it sucks. I'm sorry you're going through it. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, man. Um, try not to get caught up in that shit. I mean, in so many ways, but... If you already fixed it and it's running and driving, off it and get into something normy as shit. Keep your guy, guys, keep your eyes on the beaters. Beaters are going to start to get hot. I said that last the other night. For those of you who haven't, keep your eyes on the Camrys, the Lexus, the old, the old Lexus. They run really, the old Buicks, the old. Just keep your eyes on them, guys. Stuff with cheap parts. You'll see. You'll see. Wade with the 20. You guys are awesome. Take my money. YouTube takes 30%. Look, if YouTube wants 50 I, if YouTube asks me 50, you can have it. You can have 100%. Yeah. I'll, we're really just doing this for... It's the old John stupid negotiation <laughs> tactic. Here, take all my money. Go ahead. I'm I'll showing, tell you what. I'll I'm showing my, my value. My value. Yeah. I'm just here to represent my value of myself. Here, take my paycheck for 12 years. We'll see who ends up fine. We'll see who ends up on top in the end. Wait. <laughs> Last one, greater than detail. Uh, hey, Nick, wondering if I can shamelessly plug my auto detailing business, greater than detail. We are in Denver area and also fully mobile. Love your videos, your knowledge, and improv skills always, guys. These Denver heads. Greater detail? Greater good? Gr greater. Greater than detail. Greater than detail. It's even more Denver. detailed than detail. Mobile detailing? Mobile. Hell yeah, he dude. Good for you, bro. He'll remove the, the Taco Bell wrappers and the McDonald's cups from yes. the floorboard. He'll yes. drive out and do it. He'll wash all the soda off your center consoles. <laughs> this guy will get all the ass smell out of the... Your, those... those uh, no, I, I love auto detailing is, uh, yeah. is a big part of my... Uh, I love auto detailing. My dad's a, a psycho auto detailer. Big, big mm -hmm. fan. Big fan! He's like... But uh, I'm, I'm actually terrible at it. We go to war. My brother's good at it. We grew up cleaning cars in my dad's car dealership. My brother really took it and ran with it. Mobile auto detailing, super good business. If you want to start something cool, get good at it. It's good stuff, man. People pay for it. I can't believe how much people... Haircuts and auto detailing are two things. I obviously don't. I just let my hair grow out naturally. And um, uh, I, I treat my car like a fucking uh, Snickers wrapper that's on the side of a highway. And lastly, new user, you might still be in line here. Don't give up hope yet. Mm -mm. We're going. We got it. Trust me, I'm not... We're moving. I gave we're us not. Too many yeah, tonight. we're not doing. No, no, no. We're going to be just fine. We're going to be just on time at four four in the morning. We're entering power hour. Yeah, that's right. This is power hour. This is where we really <laughs> slam. Uh, now, obviously, this person has lost their fucking mind. <laughs> like this person <laughs> is gone. So we should have known by the mosquito nets on the front, the white stone bedding, the uh, nativity scene made from schizophrenia. And the have a very happy Easter. So this is all Easter directions. I uh, the decorations. I love how oh these got we got a lot of words. Don't waste food. T talk about your day. Offer to help cook and clean. Wash your hands. And add a big papa cola. 
Is that a lady sitting? Doesn't it look like there's a lady sitting in the chair? Yeah, like a fat That's lady. creepy. Yeah, she's like, lady. just sell my house. And then we have 5,000 stuffed animals. Forever family. Before, Hi, everybody. Before they were called plushies, they were called stuffed animals. Yes, before they were plushies, that we were stuffed animals and a more of an Easter scene. Real big Easter home around here. You know how I love my animals. Now, there's nothing uh, more fun to walk into with a, with a house full of these characters. <laughs> never alone here <laughs> she fucks us <laughs> she rips ass from she has coca-cola farts oh. yeah old janet has coca-cola farts she's ripping janet. them uh four framed picture collages of the family a nice little hoarding mess that we threw a blanket over in the hallway office chair to get ready at put the makeup on while you put your pills in your mouth good for you uh, another chair you can just sit down on and catch your breath yeah just catch your breath after a hot fuck session uh, on um but yeah, no, the uh, stamped back uh, rock maple dining room set that's just ever present in the uh, the five figure ish house. Um, she fire fucking she has pancreatic cancer. I can smell it in her. Is there and again, a, her farts? The is, house itself. What does it come with the iPad that she looks at QAnon posts on? <laughs> <laughs> it comes I'll with that. I'll throw this in. I'll throw this in. You can have it. You I, see what they're doing. It, you, <laughs> You fucking see what they're doing, Jet. They're out there. The librarians, they're teaching the kids. About, 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 you know, they're teaching them about, about you, know, fucking. you know what they're doing. I'm John F. Kennedy Jr. Mm -mm. You're a good man. Well, the thing is, they the, they killed the Kennedys because they knew. He, he was, they say, mm -mm, I can't even say it out loud. Mm. I won't even say it out loud. Mm -mm. These guys know what I say, right, guys? And they're all like, kill me. That's the stuff they always <laughs> But these, all these little critters know the truth about the Kennedys. And then this well, white bear looks up at you. <laughs> the very thing is, fucking kill me, dude. Fucking blow my head off, dude. She's got her fucking ass stinks. <laughs> You're not going to believe the fucking smell of this lady's ass, dude. It stinks so bad. Wade, it's thank you for joining. She showers, but it fucking stinks, dog. 14. Is this Westchester, Pest of 1225? Yeah, 1982. Yeah, all right. So we're going we're gonna to hit realtor on this one. 1. 1.8. Linden Farm. Linden. And a university choice tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, was, oh, yeah, it's real good. Carriage house. Stupid barn that the caretaker... Oh, nice. Love it. Really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Did they do this floor? I, if that floor... Well, the person did a good job with it. Oh, some, oh someone bought it and redid it. Cool. Um, how much did they buy it for? I'll guess in the end. But... Taste, tasteful mods. They painted the cabinets. Then they Ethan Allen the fuck out of the house. This kitchen is dog snots. <laughs> like fucking, oh, oh, a $1.8 million house with laundry in the kitchen? Yeah, come on. Wait, really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Stupid idiot. Too much. Uh, this is bad. No ki well, Fuck the kitchen. Okay. All right. I'll fuck myself. I'll fuck myself in the kitchen. Uh, good for you for doing the backsplash and nothing else. Um... Rage Against the Anal Bees, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Is that a dumb waiter? I think they call it a dumb waiter, which is a servant's quarters that goes up and down on a little rope. Um, really? Yeah, it's like a little thing in the kitchen. You open up the door, you can put a shelf in it, you can bring oh, things up and down. It's like a okay. little elevator for things. Cool. So you can like bring towels upstairs and yeah. shit. You uh, throw all your dirty laundry down right, yeah, right to the kitchen. You just put your <laughs> shitty boxes over like a, like a mannequin head. Right down to the there kitchen, you go. right next to the, the chili getting cooked. Mom, wash those! <laughs> <laughs> like chocolate cake in your box. <laughs> you put your pet snake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you put like a fucking... The snake's dirty, Mom. Mom, wash my coral snake! Clean my box jellyfish! She just dies. Hey, Terrence Crawford, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to watch how little they did. So I'm, I'm seeing paint and wallpaper right now. And then they didn't even finish the floors in some of the rooms. This floor to ceiling window is incredible. Wow. How the hell do they do that? 
Oh, that's a little pocket. Never mind. I'm sorry. Those are built-in fold-away shutters for the windows. I thought this was a huge floor-to-ceiling window, and I thought those were six-foot doors. Those are 36-inch doors on a window sill with a good photograph. Whoa. Yeah, those fold okay, away, yeah. Those are fold-away shutters. Fooled me for a second there. Yeah. Weird camera work. Well, if you're a really tiny little guy, like mm. what's up with that room? This oh, is, is that a room of, of that's optical a, illusion too. Is, nah, this is, is just that two feet tall. No, no, it, it gets like smaller. It's really Wonka. Tall. It's like come with me, you will see. Yuppies trying to make a million dollars <laughs> on a fellow yuppie that's not as smart as them because they just ran a fucking uh, the whack light off a nipple light. That's so stupid, you oh. stupid idiots. That's a really gaff electrical job. You know, that's not even code. That's not even legit. But it tells me that you didn't touch the floors. The, the entryway is what you spent the money on, and I can smell it. The rest of it is very... Uh, you did a concrete pool that doesn't look like it's been opened. Uh, a stone little gatehouse or a, a watershed. A uh, dirt-floored barn with a, with an open walk-in underneath for animals. So it's a livestock barn. Nice piece. It's a nice house. Um... I'm not gonna let the, the yuppie bum me out because it's two pieces of property with a carriage house at million eight. Um, I'm gonna say they bought this for 870 in 2018. Come on, come on. Fuck, 112 in 2020. They bought it for 100,000. No, they didn't. They got it gifted to them for their family, so God knows what they bought. But they can't sell it. So that that being said, it is a nice piece. It's 1777. The house is old, fella. Um, 12 acre lot, big old piece of sprawling property, 268 a foot, 200 bucks a foot brings you down to 1.2 million. Um, I'd be at under a million. Just being a prick. It's good though. It's a good piece of property. Um, I, I bad offers are coming though. I just, I just, yeah, that, that, don't worry. That's a house where you fucking wail on them. You put a mouthpiece in, like that. You fucking bang your boxing gloves together, and you find the guy selling that, and you go beat the shit out of that guy. That's a fight. That's super fun. He's ready for it. He knows you're coming. He might kick your ass. You might leave in a fucking. It's gonna be a fair fight. It's gonna be fair. Be ready. He's gonna be like. You're both yuppies. Yeah, and he's gonna be like the same height. Listen, Craig, <laughs> you're fighting out of your weight again. He's fighting you with inside. He's hitting you so hard. He's like, yeah. look, I've watched you make a little bit of money and act like you got a lot of money. Okay. I could say the same about you. And you're John, like, I could yeah. say the same about you. But I have a house, don't I, Kurt? <laughs> and they're just dickhead arguing yeah. over it. like they're like they're like out boxing each other with like dickhead comment after dick. Now you, you're a, you were a B student at Yale. <laughs> and you got a mid-tier job, yeah, uh, Drexel. It's just, it's not the same thing, Greg. You're in a different stratosphere as as we as 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 Jilly Bean and I. We're different, Kurt. I didn't take an extra year to get my degree. You did, <laughs> and that's maybe if you didn't, the the the, the two hundred and forty-five grand I made at Morgan Stanley. You could have made, and you could have given it, and you could have owned Linden Farms, but you didn't. So why don't you take off, take the boxing gloves off? Why don't you get it in your Cadillac SRX and beat the street? Uh, that, that would be the, that would be the best. I love that. A um, couple chats here. Pangea Supercorp. The um, this is the fellow who uh, has the coloring books. He says, "Oh yeah, it's real. Love the voice chat. Look up Juan Silvio. There are kittens, puppies, mushrooms with mountains, flowers, and butterflies." Published later this week. If anyone on the stream buys, that would be sick. Well, there we go, man. If you have the keys, you have the coloring books, make sure you scan it and there is no Jeffrey Epstein fly log coloring book pieces and you are good to go, my man. We got uh, Terrence Crawford again. Thank you, man. And lastly, Null Sweet with the 25. Hi, Nick. Uh, handyman here. Clients are always ruining their houses with cheap paver jobs and awful matte black finishes. Any advice on how to talk them out of their bad decisions? Or should I just take their money and run? If I, yeah. Um, if I was going back into landscaping, I got to hang out with a couple of landscaper friends of mine um, on a job that I'm doing at my own house. Um, I would have, I would go home and I would say, before I met with my clients, I would look at their house quickly, like I do on the stream, and I would send them five examples of what they should try to accomplish. I'd say, listen, this is the style of your house. This is the plant style you should go with. This is the, the material. You're, you're sort of like limited in scope by based on the architecture or the year build of the house. If you guys keep slapping these 2005, you're gonna have me back here in five years. I'm trying not to fuck you over. 
This yeah. is how I'm trying not to fuck you over. This sort of guidance. If you want me to be a fucking moron and put a Unilock fucking patio that's from 2023 and it looks like you put an earring on a, you put a nose ring in a 70 year old lady's nose, yeah. then go for it. Or if you want me to be decent and upright about it, try to do these five things and let's come up with an idea together. That's what I would do. Yeah. Whatever it may be. That's the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah. That's because I mean, then you know, if, if, if let's say you take their money and run, or, you know, we're just gonna laugh at them. When yeah, yeah. Then, then they'll just put their house on scuffed realtor, and I yeah. just clown on that stupid bitch. We need content. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But. I mean, I don't want to shoot myself in the foot here. <laughs> but, yeah. That is the right thing to do. The moral. Yeah. Thing to do. Girthus Maximus with the twenty-five. Got my Shamanics House T-shirt the other day. I'm six-two and two-sixty, so it's hard to find stuff that fits well and is super comfortable. But I'll tell you, Nick, this T-shirt is great. Keep up the great work, fellas. Welcome back, Jet, and much love. Hey. Hey. Well, he's fitted. He's fitted up. He's got his new, he's got his uh, shamanic son. He's, he's, he's happy that Jet is back. Jet's not going to have to drive the Lamborghini fast through the tunnel on the way back to Providence. And, uh, and he liked the stream. And he, yeah, and he liked the stream. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I agree. I, I wear the shit out of my shirt. My, um, my laundry was done in a weird way. And uh, I, was, I folded my laundry on acid the other night. I, I tucked my t-shirts in the top of my closet. I couldn't find them for like five days. I, I had to wear a polo shirt the other day. Yeah, and I felt like a, I looked like a golfer, kind of. Like I had like a like a John. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to shake your hand. What's going on, man? How, remember me from uh, Fidelity, John? St I, I, I felt like, like the shirt. biggest fucking tool because I couldn't have my. I, I just like wearing t-shirts. I couldn't yeah, find yeah. any of them, and I, I was like, fuck it, I just grab it. And I, I left. I looked like like Adam Sandler, and I was like, oh god, <laughs> like what an idiot. I had like like sweat shorts and a polo. I don't know, just a yeah. bad look. Yeah. I had to grab a shirt from a golf tournament, albeit comfortable. The Frank Millar fucking uh, polo, golf polo was a bad fit for Nick the other day. So I threw it in the trash when I go, I'm never doing that again. Don't never play in a golf tournament. Even if John Daly wants to play, which maybe. But um, indoor pool. This house is so nice. Um, it's nice. I don't even want to play games here. This is a contemporary on the water in Indiana. Indie animals. It's a new gang chasing us around here. The stream, the Indian animals, the Indian animals. Yeah, yeah. Back. It's a gang, a one percenter gang out of out of Indiana that says stay the fuck out of here. So I'm not gonna praise this house too much, but it's fat as shit. Yeah. Um, really, really, really great piece. A little off on the styling, a little, little wishy washy with the restoration hardware and the Amer the craftsman style shaker front doors on the uh, the kitchen cabinets, which it's a little marine, but this this doesn't fit the the style of the house. But it's okay. The rest of the house is. Really, really. I like this shit. Um, again, a little bit of uh, creativity in this house lives like uh, 30 million bucks. Um, and I don't think it's 30 million bucks. Good. I love the this. I love courtyard entryways. Oh, yeah. Like you pull in and you back. It's just a good live. It's private. Um, it's sort of like perfectly efficiently optimized. Europeans sort of do that a lot in their builds. We don't do this enough. On the, cobble, the full cobblestone with a three car. It's dope. I mean, what do you want me to say? New garage doors. I don't even mind the color. I mean, it's dope. It's uh, driftwood gray. That's great. It's a million eight. I'm, I'm in. I think it's it's India. Is it India? Yeah, it's Indiana. Yeah. This house is fat. Yeah, that's on the market. Yeah. Uh, what did Dickhead buy it for? Let's see. Um, let's see, because uh, <laughs> wow, they've, yeah, they've been reaching for this house for two years, four years. It's it's down at the price. Again, go punch them. What? What are they saying? So somebody said it's a burn down. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not a burn down. It's, like it's a keeper. One. No, I, I like. I, not I even mean, a tear down. A burn. It's down. a yeah. It's a burn it down. <laughs> no, nah, this house is kind of dope. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, like. it's 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 the flat roof. I checked the roof on it. Uh, the, the mechanical something's gonna be failing on it. Um, and that's your big entry point. Just tell them the roof's gonna be two million dollars, and you don't. You know, how, where am I going on this thing? Um, but it is, and I I, I I like that stuff a lot. Looks like the uh, hey, it looks like the Wolf of Wall Street house. You remember Wolf of Wall? You ever see that movie Wolf of Wolf? You ever see you ever see that movie Wolf of Wolf? Wolf Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> no, not Shutter Island. All is is the one where he's a badass. He's rich. He's really rich. Makes all the money in New York. It got fucking. He's like driving the fucking the Lamborghini and he fucking on the Quaaludes. And then he's, he's freaking the yacht. He's doing Quaalu. He's getting blown. And it's like fucking, dude, that movie fucking killer. It's like me. And his girl, wicked hot, bro. Margot, Margot, Margot. Margot, Margot Ruby. My, Mar Margot Ruby's smoke show, dude. The tits on that broad is fuck 10. 10. <laughs> I need a five-gallon bucket of shit. <laughs> 
I heard a guy say that as a comment. That I was fucking losing my mind laughing. I was like, Jesus Christ. I used to follow, there was a phase in like 2008 when I followed all the Italian girls. Yeah. That like I went to high school, they would all change their name to like Lauren Marie. Yeah. Remember when girl they would like drop their last name and they would do like Jessica Lynn. And all, like five of them ended up being like the best Facebook followers of all time. They were just like wiling out and yeah. going to clubs and shit and being like, I'm I'm riding them all night. He buys me Louis bags. Ah. <laughs> like Guido, like it was the wildest time on that's Facebook awesome. history. And uh yeah, that's half the conversations. And then the guys would like the guys would like before like Facebook rules and getting banned, people were like wiling yeah. on there. Like the comments were like nuts, like what I would do for you, Alyssa Marie. Like mechanics and like guys, <laughs> guys that their Facebook. I, That's awesome. I don't know who they are, but just like yeah. some dude who like fucking people does, that usually only exist on reality TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dudes yeah, who like they're it's, real. It's the their their mode their uh, fucking profile image is them on like a street bike at a cookout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just saying the wildest shit you've ever heard. Um, but yeah, that, that was a very prevalent up here in Rhode Island, Mass area. Um, but we're flying out to Worcester, Mass. 14 Palace Gardens Road, 474. Is this a two family? Uh, no, nah, this is this is a little steep for this house. It's refurbed, but it's not bad. And Worcester's hot. I like Worcester. I don't like the house. It's really basic. the The flooring's cheap. The rehab is as flip rehab as you can get. There's not an expensive piece of material in this thing. It's a full rehab on a rehab. The location's good. The house is good. The flip is not worth what you're paying for it. I bet you we're going to see they bought this thing. That's a two-family. Now, I, I, went, I went broke on a house. Like you're, you're telling me that you're going to get two people to pay $1,800 a month and you're going to want to put $50,000 down? $50,000 down to make $1,700 a month. Do that whole equation over seven years. And then imagine yourself putting up with two renters. And then one of them leaves and you have to like fucking throw that in. So if you're just trying to salt money away, it's not bad. But um, you better not tell me what they paid for this thing. Oh, here we go. They paid 134,000 for it and then they put uh 28,000 for it. It's too much money. No way. Yeah, no. It's it's just it's just a new no, that's not a good deal. It's not good enough. Like there's no you won't get good rents because the the units aren't pretty enough and the people who just take rents like that just simply won't pay you after a while. And if you think you can just come in and charge crazy city rents, don't worry. You can't. It's just you're going to chase money for the rest of your life at that price. You can go broke on that. If you have that much money, you have more. Don't buy ooh. Illinois, banging mansard roof, modern mansard, acre of land, three bedroom one, four north, 118 charter lane, three and a quarter on an acre lot. Yeah, this yep. is dope. Yep. A good friend of mine has one of these, a lawyer, a lawyer friend of mine that I see at my coffee shop every morning, great guy. He has one of these exact houses and he kept it mint, he painted the shingles and um, so those are, that's the shingle side right here, but mm -hmm. this brick patio is a monster. Mm -hmm. It's simple, it's clean, it's well-maintained. When you reside it, um, let, me, let me see, hold on. No easy, uh, let's see. Modern mansard residing. Modern mansard residing. So like, like this. You can reside that with like like this like that like try to try to land that on the siding like that right there like that see that you yeah. could do that on that house this one there you go any of you guys looking at these mansards no one's gonna see that this is a this is why you watch this fucking stream this is like <clears throat> this is alpha but like this type of shit siding jobs do shit like this the house is cheap that's what you shoot there you show a cider that and can I do this and then you figure out how to do it on this house you can do it and it'll yeah, look dope. That's cool. And you paint the whole thing white inside and it'll be nice. You could do that here. It would look fat. You all know I'm not crazy. New front door, new garage door, line the driveway, make it nice. Great piece, great find. Thank you, great example of a house you can do a lot too for, the siding job will probably be fucking 50 grand, but it'll be fat and it'll look like a fucking, it'll look like something, man, when you're done. Um, Glen, Glen Maury. Glen Maria Maur Ave. Glen Maur Ave. Jacksonville, Florida. Glen Maur. Right off San Diego Road. Yeah, that's bending. Nice. Brick Cape. 
Brick Ranch, rather, sorry. Um, 1950, nice. Photoshop grass, fireplace, two windows. Okay, we know what I'm gonna say there. We don't need to say that. All clean, clean doors. Okay. Nice house. If this is you pending on it, nice house. <clears throat> Needs a backyard, no big deal. Okay. Um, we're gonna get this tree. We're gonna get the trees away from this house. First order of business is get the trees away. Patio, cut it in. You can probably do patios with your boys. Just I would go concrete or brick. Um, you need five pallets of brick. Anyway, you can take that information any way you want. Clean this power. I would go with concrete. There's already a lot of existing concrete. This is super nice. Clean that. Clean weatherproof the shit out of this piece of wood here because it's kind of a nice detail. Um, it's nice. I like it a lot. It's a nice piece. Don't touch the bathroom. Paint the kitchen cabinets. Do a marble backsplash, all the same. New sink, have a marble guy come in, first order of business, change the knobs, no big deal. Keep the cabinets, don't go crazy. Um, you can do a couple of cage front doors if you wanna get really crafty. You can take these doors off and then put a couple of cage fronts. You can pull some down and do shelf tops if you want. You can run the marble all the way to the top, but don't go, don't go too nuts. Um, it's kind of a nice room, leave the paneling. You can paint the paneling if you want. You can look up painted paneling ideas, it's not a fake thing. Some of the windows are gonna be aluminum. Just take them down and clean them for now. Uh, power wash and clean but nice piece of property I would I would call a tree guy right away and neaten up get some air flowing through there so we don't have any uh, problems for you going down the road nice buy um, good luck I hope you I hope that's you um, and if, if, if you lost it that seemed like a pretty decent pretty decent piece it looked like first time to market so there's no sense in me looking up what they paid for it I don't care um, but again, Florida's pretty hot. God, you guys are kind of on fire. These houses are kind of fat. Yeah. Um, you guys are. I would live in like any of these. Yeah. No, no. The, the, the stream is on good. fucking fire tonight. It's Jets here. It's because Jets here. Thank you. Thank you for showing me good ones. Yep. You know how tragic it would be if my, my first day back in months is just like fucking. They've regressed. Yeah. They're showing me condos in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> for like three eighty nine. It's on Virginia Beach. Dude, what are you talking about? The water in the pipe factory was not that big of a deal. It's like the, the condos on the side of that fucking uh, spill. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like really expensive Washington, D.C. homes and shit. Fourth of July on Virginia Beach is actually pretty good. It's bank, dude. Yeah. It's bank. Virginia's for lovers, It's asshole. like in a couple weeks. I want to get it now. I want to move in. Yeah, dude. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah these cool. houses are cool. Yeah, they, so this is... How much is this? Y'all are doing one? great, man. Yeah, the, man. Taste, the taste is good. 555 Camp Hill, mm. Pennsylvania. That's a, that's a negotiable price. Don't, don't ever do that. If you're pricing a house, guys, don't make it sound negotiable. Five fifty five. Seventy nine. I don't know. There's a, pri there's a pricing matrix. I know Pennsylvania's What's, cheap. I, I'm, I'm curious. What's the psychology of like a good uh, non-negotiable number? This seems, I'm guessing it has to seem like exact. Like, oh, I did the math. This is how much. 761. Nah, I mean, there's, there's a line to it. I yeah. just think that when you go like, Five five five, sounds like you want to talk to me. Yeah, doesn't sound like you want to sell something. Yeah, no, that's like it's kind of like application specific, but like I'm sure this house doesn't comp out too easily to five fifty five. Meaning Pennsylvania is cheap. Like, look, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, you're reaching, yeah. you're reaching. I can tell. Everybody can tell. It sold for oh oh okay. It sold for three thirty seven in twenty two, and it's it's a three hundred and fifty thousand dollar house. You, so here's where we're going. We're going to hunt for $200,000 worth of improvements. Fine. I'll even give you a deal on you. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll let you make profit. I get it. Yeah. You did the work. How good's your work? Honestly, pretty good. Not my total steez, but the tile work's pretty good. This was done by a professional tile work. You can tell. The door choice is smart. It's the like the 60s mid-century shade doors. The Japanese uh, paper paper. Whatever, they painted everything white, smart. Uh, the tile was done professionally, twice. Home grade, Home Depot grade cabinet, this is an original one, that's, that's not updated. Um, but the doors are, whatever, they, instead of spending fucking $85, they spent $215 and got a cooler looking door. Good for them, good for you, good for them. They painted the pool room white. I, I mean, again, I hate uh, uh, indoor pools, but whatever. Maybe yeah, it's kind of well done. Yeah, it's it it's clean. You know, they, uh, the the brick job here unified it. The brick could be picked up and put down. They tried to hide something there, but cleaned the beams up, stained them, painted the room white, painted the brick black. 
I know painting brick block blocking the pores. I'm selling this house in six years. Block the pores, let the chimney fall right out of the goddamn roof. I don't give a shit. Um, like the step down, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's say if you block the pores of brick, it makes it crumble. Really? Like if bricks are a natural substance, so if they don't breathe, they like yeah. lock in moisture and they crumble and they deteriorate, and then that's why that Ohio building collapsed. Oh. Yeah, but I think that's a different story. These are different bricks. Yeah. <laughs> Not these bricks. I mean, nice uh, floating shelves, uh, good doors. I mean, this is a 2000s. This is a. This is stupid. I don't know what the fuck they did here. Uh, not a new. No new appliances. 2004 fridge. So they didn't do the kitchen. They did a really good paint job and a neatening up, a flip. They spent a hundred thousand. They spent a hundred thousand, maybe. Okay, so, uh, 22. No, they uh. Is it active? It is active. Okay. Um, no. I'd let him make 40 on top of 100. So 489. It's a cool house. Yeah. Not many people flip the cool houses. Most people just keep them. But I'll let him, I'd let him, I'd let I like the house. If you can, if you like the area, the house is good. Um, it's a pretty nice live. They bought it kind of under the money because it was old in 60s, Jetsons. And then they did. The, they do deserve something. I mean, I don't think they necessarily spent a hundred, but you gotta let them make some. I mean, it, it, it's cool if it's if you're not a flipper and you're not like it's not a bad buy and hold. But they'll take an offer. Go talk. Five fifty five. They want to talk to you. They don't want to give you a. What's Brook Road? Okay, so it's one five zero four seven Huntington. Huntington Court or Land. I was a little Court. rusty with my writing. No, no, no. It's. You should see a couple of those confused me. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's uh, no, it's good. You're Chris is Chris is very well. His he Chris writes is, in uh, hieroglyphs. He uses more pages. This uh, is Chris. Okay. Yeah, we save all the pages, by the way. We How save many pages everything. Are we up to? It's a Bible. Really? This is this is episode fifty-one of this. Really? Yes. Hey. Hey. Cheers. Awesome. Fifty-one episodes, by the way. For so, real, guys. Back like of this stream for fifty-one. All right, Damn, man. Fifty-one weeks. That's it. Wait, fifty-two weeks is one year. That's right. 365 days in a year. Wait, 52? So we've been doing this a year? We've been doing this one year. Oh my no, God. Six months. Mm -mm. Oh wait, yeah, tw twice a week. No, twice wait, a week. it is a year. <laughs> I was about to throw up in my mouth. Yeah, like, blah! So it's been a year? Yeah, I no. knew it would get faster every it's time, crazy. but this that's way too fast. It, yeah, no, it's it's uh no, it's but we are yeah, yeah episode man, 51. 51. Yeah, episodes. no, right. We're getting rusty, uh, old and dusty here. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of these names have been here since the beginning. Yeah. Uh, you know, quick shout out Marcus Aurelius. I've seen you every time. Amelia Locke seen you, Nick Singer, Dan Cooper. Y'all been around Ray for all, of all of it, man. Oh, yeah. You got Mo 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 out there. Thank you guys on for the being ones here. And yeah, no, thank you. I'm literally nothing. I'm piece of shit trash without you. Love you. Thanks for being here. Glad you like it. I'm here. I like it as much as y'all do. Uh, again, it keeps me sane somehow. I needed it while I was shooting uh, World Peace. And we are coming to an end on that. So I will. Now you have my full time dedicated. I'm going to change the way the stream runs. I'm going to be way more serious with professionals. Japanese businessmen. Yakuza. Hell's Angels. Outlaws. Real politics. You were going to go do Yakuza after this. I was going to go, go try them? to join the Yakuza. Yeah. I was going to join them. Um, <laughs> let's see. I was going to go say, uh, let's see what I was going to say to them. Japanese. Okay. I was going to say, uh, oh, my bad. What? 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 No. <laughs> no one. That's what you were looking for. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Sterling yeah, yeah. translation. Kano Gyangu no do yo heya ni mo niku ga uru ga iru. Kano Gyangu no do no heya ni mo. Um, they're like, yeah. They all know English. Yeah, yeah. Come on over. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, good to have you. Joro no dayo suma korosu junbe ga dekite iru no wa maenu da. Big City Dreaming, thank you for the five, man. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah, no, uh, 15047 Huntington Court, Orland Park, Illinois. Um, house is 
I hope we're not paying people for these quote upgrades. Uh, as far as the piece of property goes, ranch, backyard, brick fronted, sprawling ranch. They did the, the, instead of having a garage, they built the addition with the windows. Not a bad play. Um, good layout, no garage, but whatever. But there is a snow, so that, that comes into, into the play. Um, drop ceilings in the living room and den. A couple of gaff moves here, um, but tell me you're not paying, like they don't want a real number. Okay, good, okay. As long as you bought this thing cheap, I didn't want you to pay them for this, but the windows they chose in the front are pretty decent. Needs a front door to match. Take this fucking thing off. This is stupid. Redo your landscaping. Look up modern ranch landscaping. This this sucks. This tree's gonna, well, you can probably keep that, but pull this stuff out. Um, needs a backyard patio. Keep the built-in, oh, that's not built-ins. Those are Ikea built-ins. Uh, yeah, needs a front door. Just lacks like overall flow, but uh, decent, oh, God. Let's get some doors on this and hide this shit away or, or move those. Um, definitely quiet that shit up. Uh, look up how to soundproof. You got some old heating systems. It's an old register right there. Um, bad dining room table, linoleum floor. It looks like it's a slab. So um, no problem. Uh, you're going to need to unify the flooring, paint the house yourself at single level you can, um, and then do a backyard. That's going to be first order of business. Better door in the back here. Maybe a sliding glass door would be better. Full glass, large, oversized glass door. If you guys are putting in sliding glass door, anybody putting in a sliding glass door, put the biggest fucking one you can find. People love that shit. You want to yeah. sell a house? Put a big fucking sliding glass door in the back. An expensive one. You'll find it. Keep your eyes peeled on Facebook Marketplace. Some dickhead millionaire ordered three of them. <laughs> and they couldn't put one in because we couldn't fit in the hot tub. So I got this freaking $6,000 door or whatever just sitting in my garage. The builder said, leave it. I said, I'll give it to one of my buddies. Oh, well, cut to three years later. Thing's still sitting there. Uh, 500 bucks, man. That's fine. You're loading it into the back of your truck. He's just saying. Yeah, that he's, he's drunk. Fuck, yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck up, Glenn. Can you give me a hand, Glenn? Hey, man, want to grab the other end of that? <laughs> hey, man, appreciate it. Just slide. Yeah, no problem, man. I used to actually put a cross at Syracuse. Um, this thing's heavy, isn't it? Ah. Oh. Yeah, no, it's a. Uh, yeah. It's big. It's good. It, it's it, good. It, I wish I would have put it in. I, I just could, it just didn't work. <laughs> Did, couldn't fit it. And uh, <laughs> last minute, it was, uh, it was one of those things, and it is what it is at this point. Yeah, man. Uh, shit. Yeah, no, that's. Uh, but seriously, uh, if it's, it's one of those things that sells houses. It sounds stupid, but think about it. You're adding like a glass wall to a house in simplest form. You're a uh, full glass light. Um, if it can, if it can stand it, and you you can frame it. Go big, um, especially in houses where, you know, small frame, newer, newer style. Work backwards off the expensive door and window combo that you find on Facebook. That's how I did it. You start with the most expensive pieces that you're going to buy first to find those and then work backwards trying to find matcher styles off that rather than buy the cool cheap windows and then try to buy the, the matcher expensive door. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're trying to play that game. Awkward weatherman with the 25. How did your meeting with Tim Heidecker go the other night? I uh, was a big fan of Tim and Eric's show. I hope things work out the best for you. Yeah, it's great. He's going to come work on, um, on World Peace too. Yeah. He loves it. He was asking uh, if he could run audio. He's an audio guy now. Yeah. And he, he said he gets really clean clips. He's got his own boom. Um, he's got his own mix pre. Um, I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I can't wait. And yeah, shout out. Thanks again, Tim. I appreciate it. Always a always a uh, uh, good to have talent on staff. Really happy about it. It went really well. Thank you. Those guys are uh, crews making nine hundred million dollars a year. This fellas, this band, they're making I think seven hundred fifty thousand a year to do the podcast. This fellas, his friends, and the guys in the crew. <laughs> wait, wait, All what? All the dudes that are running with Tim, he's paying his guys seven hundred fifty thousand each, each. And no matter what their job is. Oh, just true. True. Basically, I mean, hey, yeah. they, get, they get even cuts. Yeah. Okay. Even split of the even business. Even splits, fair, fair. Yeah. Well, that's how, I mean, that's how it should be. Yeah. 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 And it's cool. Everybody's pumped, so it's cool. Um, but we're flying out to 1923 Clay Street, St. Joseph, Missouri. Um, mm, 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 mm. Ooh, this, this house is... This, Georgian, oh wow, 499 half acre lot, St. Joseph, Missouri, nice piece. Not for the faint of heart, the heating bill in this thing would crush a weak person. This is the Edmund Jack Eckel. It's, it's built by Edmund Jack Eckel, Jacques Eckel. Yeah, this is fat. Let's see here. This is nice. This is, uh, this should be on cheap old houses. This is a nice piece. 
Uh, look at the look at the work on it. Everything's custom. Let's see how cool the custom is. Nice. I like the I like this style. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is a good refurbish. Uh, nice piece. You could have bought yourself a rug, you cheap prick. Um, but hey, what do I expect? You sleep backwards like the fucking parent. Like that's oh, wow. insane. They sleep like the grandparents in Willy Wonka. Charlie. Charlie, I'm a piece of shit. I love that Family Guy joke they always talk about. Everybody makes that joke about the grandpa like being bedridden for 10 years. His grandson gets a ticket to a chocolate factory. He's springing out of bed. And he's yeah. like, I'm a piece of shit. I love that. It's so funny. Because um, it, it was so profound seeing like grandparents. Um, oversized Victorian houses. So you just start to fill bedrooms with shit. Fine, I'll take that. They turn one of the bedrooms into a closet. Cool, I'll take that. This, this bathroom's actually a complete piece of shit. <laughs> um, double ceiling fans loaded with clutter laying around old lady house people basically almost dying in this thing not a bad craftsman style kitchen redo um, decent that finishes little thin table though yeah I didn't put an eye this is probably installed before like islands were like a fucking like the, the new butt lift yeah. you know what I mean like before islands were a thing so it could take an island good news is this will take an alt colored island so you could do like a fucking like a whatever like a white yeah. you know like skinnier island don't do a breakfast bar and then you have the pantry the floor sucks the wine cellar is good wow the wine cellar is cool a real deal oh it's a wine dealer good for them this house is fat bathtub's totally ridiculous please remove that immediately that's trash um wow newer mechanical Whew. HVAC installed this is a good deal this is a buy yeah, I think in the future, I mean, I think just like sprawl is going to grab this stuff. I, I, I mean, it's not an easy live. It's not for everybody. But if you can, and then the heating, the, the keeping this thing, this, this fucking high school that you bought up and running is not cheap. So keep that in mind. Other than that, if you can wear sweatpants in a house, if you don't mind going to sleep in sweatpants and socks, yeah. I don't. I would. I have. I do. I do. <laughs> I own them. I have sweatpants. Uh, but no, this is this is nice. Four ninety nine. I'm there. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, especially like guys like like younger dudes. Yeah. You got nine bedrooms. Like a guy like yourself, right? That's like yeah. a young. That's fucking five bedrooms in this fucking thing. Everybody's living fat yeah. in this house. Yeah. Your rent is three grand. If you can find nine dudes that like, I mean, I'm not saying this is for everybody. I'm just yeah. saying you can find five. Dude, that's my place. I have five guys. Yeah, five bedrooms. We split it Three up. Three grand a month. Forty-two. <laughs> you can yeah. go here. It's you can go to St. Joe's, and you, you're not living in a Georgian mansion with a garage. Yeah, I'm living in a wine uh, cellar. Yeah, that would be way better than stepping on, uh, almost stepping on needles when you walk outside. Yeah, you got bums spitting in your face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you wake up to a face full of bum spit. I know all their names. Yeah, you you, you get I involved in that problem. Yeah, yeah I feel like kind of into their <laughs> Scott, life. Scott, nah, man, not today. Yeah, man, I'm just not in a good mood, man. Okay, Jet, no big deal. They're like decent with you. That's how yeah. you know it's bad. Matt F with the twenty, big fan of the like button. Hey, me and you both. Yeah, that's um, a good thing. I'm thirty and decided to leave the art world. I'm good at math, so I'm getting a math degree, but it's five plus years until a job in the field. Any tips on getting paid in the meantime slash afterwards? Damn, math. What do you want to do with math? Math teacher? Math plus art degree equals. I don't know, buddy. That's a tough one. That's a tr is that, you, that's a troll. No, you're not trolling math me. You wouldn't troll art. that. Would, I can think of like architecture. Art world. That's probably the the addition of math and. Where art. do you need math? Where do you need le math labor? Where does math labor come in? At the factory. At the at math the, factory. Uh, at the Ford plant. Yeah, they're like this. How many bumpers do we? If there's a goddamn guy that could do math around here, we could figure out how many bumpers we need. The we answer was eleven. Why didn't you say that then? <laughs> God, it had me scratching my head. No, um, Jesus, yeah, I, I don't know. know something I know nothing about. If honestly. you want to be a teacher, a math teacher, I mean that's cool. Math teachers are cool people. Um, hey, if if you have the the bug to to want to teach, go for it. Go teach highest level. I don't know though, man. I don't know. How, mm, I don't know. Work for an accounting firm, analytics, data, data analytics for a finance company. For and use your art skills to deck it out and get put nice shit on the wall. Work it. Make everybody uh, 
Get everybody nice Eames chairs wow, or something. Brian, you're like Otzi. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, you have to get that lady to say that. Two more here. Bornsmouth Barnsman with the 25. Hey, man, thank you for the support. Picked up a little chain link this past year and a half. Uh, cash out some equity, fixed dead coca teeth, and a mushroom fungal toe. I have 7000 to spend on a car. I want a big car. Uh, 04 F250 sounds juicy. Uh, 97 Forerunner, your thoughts? Uh, 04 F... Uh, 02, oh, good luck finding an 04 F250 that's not a total rat. The frame's going to be rotted. The bed's going to be rotted. But if you can... Go for it if you want a big car. And then what was the other one? Uh, oh, 97, 97 Forerunner. Uh, Forerunner. Now, I like the uh, the 04 Sequoia. The the Sequoia gets overlooked constantly. Go 04 Sequoia, you get way more car. Sleeper. Sequoia's a sleeper. How about a minivan? How about a fucking Honda Odyssey? Go <coughs> wild. Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive. Let's go there. Camry Wagon. Lexus LS430. Uh, 98 to 2004. Um, any Lexus SUV you can get your hands on with, for four figures. Uh, that's it. Those are the ones I would go for. And Kyle Pex with the 25. Uh, excuse me. I'm an attorney representing the Indy Animals in a few court cases. Uh, they want me to tell you that you guys are cool. You can come to Indiana. If you're from Illinois, though, leave us and our recreational meth labs alone. All right. You heard the man. I'm not going to step in and start dictating somebody else's culture, you know, if that's what they're... Indian animals will be after you. You're yeah. going to have a fucking gang of, uh... What do you... What do you, you Indi, in, Indiana? So you have the Pacers only? Is that their own... Do you guys have sports teams for Indiana? What do you guys have? I just got meth labs. That's it. I appreciate that they're giving us the pass there, but, I mean, I'm not going to pretend we're not on thin ice if we're ever in Indiana. I mean, we have the, uh... No, we have the... We, we, we got the Colts, all right? We got the Pacers... All right, we got the Hoosiers. <laughs> All right, we got those fans. Now Pacers fans, wild. Yeah. All right. You got Colts fans, fired up. Fired up. Yep. Yeah. They're gonna be chasing you down the fucking highway with their lawyer, ready to fucking fuck you with a hot ice pick that's been sitting in a dashboard on a fucking Blackstone grill for three hours. That they're gonna fucking they're gonna grab a chain link, a chain mail glove. <laughs> wrapped in a fire glove and they're gonna fucking stab you to death with a steaming hot fucking letter file that's been yeah. left on a wood stove for fucking three years that's been that's been being lit in the back of a pickup truck a, a wood stove lit in the back of a pickup truck with fire that would be so funny in a fire they're a gonna cover you in, in the back of like yeah. a back of like a Chevy <laughs> yeah they Somebody kick it on you <laughs> they, they like they, they shove like a lit fireplace on you like, get out of here you fucking idiot they put they push a whole fireplace full of a hot firewood yeah. on you he says he wants to make an iron cast of the inside of your mouth. <laughs> with gold. Yeah. With molten Burning gold. gold. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to come. I'm an attorney. I gave you fair warning. Yay! We're going to fuck him. I fuck him with I the gold. common sense law. <laughs> common law. Common sense law, that is. <laughs> and tort reform. I'm going to bend his ass in the air. I want to pour molten gold down that hole. Hey, that rhymes, tort reform. But no, yeah, stay the fuck out, guys. Mm. <laughs> but honestly, keep keep up the uh, the good work uh, with having these beautiful. Is the beautiful. Indie Animals thing something I missed being absent? Something new, something okay. new. Just a gang of wolves chasing us around, chasing right. everybody out of India. The Indiana, Indiana, the Indiana, Indie Animals Tourist Board keeps everybody out of Indiana because they are, they're like they got honey holes of real estate. No, they don't. They have crack houses filled with chainsaw wielding maniacs that are ready to rape you with it with a power tool. They're ready to fuck you with a weed whacker, and they don't fucking stop for a year. And the police know, and they turn around. Yeah. They're like, Is there any animals too? They're like, hey. Yeah, they're like this. <laughs> hey, we got Jimmy out there. That's a 113 in progress. And they're like, hey, what's the address again? They're like, 628 Rufus Road. They're like, why don't you go ahead and turn back? We need you to go ahead and set a speed trap down there on Route 9. That's my brother's address. I'm not going to go on Stand down, officer. Stand down. I'm going to go ahead and take care of things. I'm going to go. Oh, just a simple misunderstanding here, folks. Nothing to see. we got to set up a speed trap down the road on Route 9. Yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah. Still, yeah, so we got, so that so we just gotta stay away. Okay. But right next door you got Ohio. You know what I mean? 33 454, 33, 454 Chestnut Ridge, North Ridgeville, Ohio. 
let's actually take a uh, 199 ranch enclosed breezeway new roof garage door silly vinyl fence good house well taken care of one acre lot 199 first time to market on the side of a highway though and that's a, that's a little unfortunate um let me just see that let me see what that looks like good lot so again you can give me okay so it's the corner lot at the the road the crest of two roads kind of like a little countryside off-road let me just take a look here if you're young and don't have kids or don't planning on having kids you do have the biggest lot which is cool this intersection isn't that bad because if you're coming this way you're not gonna it's still hidden back so it's not that bad i'm not gonna discount it although when i was there i wouldn't st i wouldn't shut the fuck up about it oh main road they know yeah. oh main road my kid could get his head smashed he loves running into the streets full speed i can never stop him my <laughs> dogs my portuguese uncle paulo he just lost his wolfhound he had him for one month just got smashed by a fucking volvo semi truck doing 80 carrying lead ingot <laughs> Um, basement bathroom, enclosed porch, three season room, or whatever you want to call it, floor to ceiling, quaint country siding with, you know, wreaths abound. I got a little drain down there to keep the water away, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a water. Any water issues? I probably not. Just double check on what the hell that is. That might just be a grade, a grade repair. It's just well, a snake. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Um, Walk out basement, scratch this away, scratch this away, retain on this side, retain on this side, meaning like scratch, scratch the door away and then put some shit on the sides and then you can have a decent walkout patio. I would change that door to glass just so I could see in. Uh, you're not, it's not a huge space, so it's not gonna cost you a ton. The yard's kind of nice, the established trees are kind of nice. Um, if you ever, you can always screen the road if you wanted a little more privacy, you could put like a fence and then a, a row of trees in front of it, but you do have a pretty decent privacy. It's probably a quiet road. I mean, I don't know. I can't see it. The house is first time to market. Good open basement that's not finished, but semi-usable, clean. You can tell the house is really well kept. Um, the bathrooms suck. The furniture blows. I'm not, I'm not going to make fun of this fucking dumb old bitty. No, it's, it's, uh, needs a kitchen. Don't go nuts. Reface the doors. Don't change the layout. And uh, maybe put a breakfast bar on this side, but... Granite countertop guy will come save the day, redoor this, maybe take the uppers off. Needs a kitchen real bad. Kitchen's first order of business. Kitchen, and there's probably hardwood floors under here more than likely. Um, take this fence down, that's stupid. Change the garage door, change the paint color. And uh, maybe modernize this window, these doors, and these doors, and you ha you'd have a winner on your hands. 199, I mean, what the fuck are we talking about? This window also sucks right here, you gotta change that. Um, you do a round porthole window, a modern one. Um, 199. I don't think they're being nuts. I don't think. Oh wow, forty-eight thousand dollar assessment. Jesus Christ. Um, really? Uh, yeah. Give them an offer. Give them an offer. <clears throat> Comp it out real bad. Beat the shit out of them and go make them a bad offer. Look, you want to move to Florida, right? Fine. You're going there with two hundred and twenty-five thousand. How's that sound? You think you can go down there and piss away your your children's income while you buy fucking Corvettes, resto modded Corvettes for all, all your all your net worth for the rest of your life? Until you die, until you move down there too young, and then Escondido, Escondido, California. I actually lived in Escondido, California. Nick the Gray Painter with the 25. Nick, do you have any experience with art dealers? I'm an artist and work in managing a small business and have some sales experience. Any tips on ways to get into the art dealing world? I live in a major city. Thanks. Um, yeah, I've had a rough experience with art dealers. That's why I don't like selling it. I, I went through a small, a small period of time where I was, I do it casually now. I've had such a rough time collecting art with galleries. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like, uh, it, it just turns my like asshole button on when I get talked down to by a fucking dickhead. And they, te they seem to have like one style of dealing with their customers and I don't fucking like it. Um, but that being said, I have a friend of mine, Casey, super cool guy. He stayed with it. We both kind of started doing it pretty heavily in 2012. Just started like taking savings and buying like Shit that was a decent deal, uh, prints, sign mm -hmm. things like uh, you know, Warhol, Prince, Rauschenberg, like the list of the great artists and stuff like that. Just casually investing 
small wins into stuff like that. Uh, I gave up on it. I didn't like it. Uh, people don't really appreciate it as far as the old stuff sales. You know, you can you can put a number on this stuff. Art is just to put a big number on it. It's kind of like it's like that dickhead anecdote earlier about um, I have a blah blah blah, and then the high end stuff it ain't trading hands. So new art, the way he does it, or the way I think to do it, is to join some of these groups that give you ins to modern art, develop an eye, and start picking winners, essentially. Their shows, and the way you do it, in my opinion, if I was to collect art, the way I would do it, and this is just, I'm just gonna take all the names and the, the name. I would find the artists that show at certain shows. I would go to Art Basel, I would go to these shows, I would find out who sells out, and I would try to obtain their art through whatever avenues I could, whether talking them to in person, which they'll probably tell you that they don't sell anything outside their gallery. But um, Tennis Elbow is really cool if you can get involved in that program or whatever that is. They basically are like sub agencies or I, I don't really know the, 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 the basic mechanic of it, but um, that's, I would like to get into it again. It's just super hard. I've had a rough time and I don't have, uh, I don't really have the, the chop for, for, for that amount. They, like it, it, it's a pretty heavy game, but basically you're buying stuff for like $15,000 now. And then in like five years, it sells for like a quarter of a million. And you store it and you can't sell it right away and you have to like sell it through them. It's cool. I My buddy's made a, a little, uh, uh, he's good at it. I mean, I think he's made a half a million bucks or more at this point. And he's got a, probably a collection of over a million bucks. And I mean, we started with like 10 grand. Yeah. And it's just kind of kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. And now he's like everywhere he needs to be all the time. And he's good at it. Um, I haven't talked to him in a bit just because of uh, World Peace, but uh, I'm going to reach back out and I'll have a better answer on that. But it, it's cool. I've just had a really, really tough time doing it. Um, yeah, this house that you guys want to hear a crazy story. Yeah. When I was like 21. Yeah. I like panicked and had to move to California. Mm -hmm. I had like a panic attack. I was like, I'm going to California. I did stand up somewhere and I bombed bad in front of like 500 people. It was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I got to fucking get out of town. I was like, I'm never doing this again. But I wanted to do comedy. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to move to L.A. I was like 20. I had no idea how to do it. Yeah. But I saved like six grand or like seven grand. I was like, fuck it. I put an ad on Craigslist. I was like, I can, I want to be like a, like a, uh, like a, a groundskeeper. I was landscaping. So I was like, I can cut grass. I can do bushes. I can do cement work. Uh, I had like two replies. One of them was Dan Ferrari, the guy who owned like roller derby events in Southern California. Really? Yep. Put this whole thing. Yeah, I run roller derby events. This, this all sounds fucking whack as shit, but somehow I'm finding like the upside to this. I'm like, all right. He's like, I need a guy to basically set up tracks and take on events, do marketing for it. Yeah. And uh, I need a, 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 like an assistant, like a yeah. living. I have a huge house out in Escondido, California. You can live in one of the rooms. I have other assistants that live. This is the guy that lives in the other room. He helps you be living next to this guy. I get there. Within the first day, he's like, I'll give you $1,500 if you jerk off in a, on camera. Really? Yep. I flew there. I like told everybody. I was like, all right, I'm going to California. See you on the billboards, dude. Yeah. I go there. 24 hours later, I have a 300-pound nightmare who is living with basically a homeless guy in a $5 million house. It was yeah. legit. He did own a early drug company. And he's like, I can get you $1,500 if you jerk off on camera. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I wanted to rip his fucking head off. Yeah. I was like, you're driving me to the fucking airport right now and you're buying me a fucking flight ticket back to California or I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah. And he did. And I came back like, I was back, I was there and back in like 72 hours. Just That's a little it. piece of you was like gone. You're like, I was like, are you, f my, my parents were like, how was California? <laughs> good. <laughs> it was actually really good actually. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Uh, I learned a lot about marketing. Yeah, marketed uh, bricks, did bricks. I made 1500 bucks. Hey dad, you ever you ever jerk off on camera for fifteen hundred? Thought so. I'm getting into the film. Yeah. And uh, videos. That was fucking unbelievable. <laughs> that was a fucking humbling experience, boy. I'll tell you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I did make out with a wicked hot girl on the plane ride home. Though. There we go. A really hot. That's the rebound. It was like it was like <laughs> honestly like in my way out of my league. Like yeah. And like just a hot makeout session. There was a gay flight attendant, and he fucking hated the fact yeah. that we were making out. That was cool though. Yeah. Yeah. You got the aisle seat, so. Yeah. yeah. I'm right yeah. over, a, I'm like making, a, she's, she's in the window on the aisle. <laughs> I'm like, you stand yeah. next to you trying to cock block. 
Yeah. He's like, excuse me. He kept on like, I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude. I'm, fucking, I'm trying to get a hand job. I'm like, fucking beat it. What are you fucking crazy? I'm 20. Um, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. I was a fucking, yeah, I mean, it's just like, I, 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 I wanted to do it young, you know, I mean, like, I had the, po I had the, uh, I had the poison deep. Um, 700 South Juniper, Escondido, California. Um, there's not many left. This is the second, second to last house. So we're, we're making great time, guys. And I appreciate it. Anyway. Um, but uh, I'm leaving you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, man. I That's so funny. Like, guy's first conversation as ladyboy with divorced wife. Mm -hmm. Totally normal together for 20 years. Yeah. But, like, instantly assumes, like, Thai ladyboy voice. Yeah. That's so funny. Mary, I'm leaving. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's Greg from Villanova. Yeah. And that's how he. <laughs> Mary, I haven't been happy for a while. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not good anymore. You don't buy me car, no nothing. Chanel bag. Pretty. Pretty. I know you think I'm pretty. You never tell me I'm pretty no more. <laughs> Greg, knock it off. I'm serious. I have my backpack. I'm leaving. I have my passport. What are you doing right now, Greg? You're doing it at dinner with her parents. It's so <laughs> funny. God damn it. So we're going to do that. Are you wearing my clothes right now, Greg? Yeah. See through dress. Very pretty. Sexy girl. <laughs> How, all the time. You would never wear it. I got this for you. You never put it on. Oh, honey, you couldn't fit in this dress for years. <laughs> uh, man. So an old school uh, 1920. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna guess the build on this is 1922, but I'm probably way up. Could be 1898. Um, you got the uh, the. I mean, the woodwork in this is real nice. You got the the nouveau, the late 20s style, 30s early uh, Art Nouveau style tile. You got the groovy tile inlay here. It looks like, which are look into that. It's super cool stuff. This might not be a boy. This is nice. Um, we had a couple of these growing up in the home t in one socket in the town I lived in. Uh, my the Victorian I had was not this nice, but the uh, the period correct wallpapering on the uh, is, is nice, and the even the everything's pretty nice as far as a retro fit goes. Good styling, exactly what it should be. Um, the dental work on the exterior, the siding, the upkeep in the yard, the hedging is fucking immaculate. The, the boxwoods or, or whatever, the privet or whatever that they run out there is great. Love the trellis. Two, I mean, it's, it's dope. It's fucking dope. It's got the, the, the correct period, correct paint job. It sold for a million dollars. Now it's worth $2 million. So who's the idiot now? Um, that was a million bucks. Though. That was a good, that was a good deal at a million bucks. I'll tell you that. It's in uh, Escondido. Escondido is a nice area. Trust me. I got asked to jerk off there. Trust me. I would know. I was molested there at 20. <laughs> no, nothing happened. I got a free plane ticket, and I got I got a nice life lesson. Yeah, and I got I had a nice fucking hot slice of humble pie waiting for me back at home. I remember I went out for beers with my boy Cross when I got home. He like picked me up from the airport. He's like, "Dude, what the fuck happened?" I was like, "Dude, let's just go drink." Yeah, he's like, "All right," and we just got fucking bullied. He's like, "Oh man," like, no, no. I was like, "No, it's fucking." I was like, "Well, you make mistakes." He's like, oh, "What are you gonna do, dude? You know what I mean? You fucking go out there. At least you know fucking weirdos out there." I was like, dude, 72 hours will teach you a lot, dude. And I became like California pro retard. Chris, it's not that bad, is it? I'm like, no, huh? it's not that bad. No one's asking me to crank it for 1500 <laughs> But then again, no one's asking me to crank it for 1500 Double-edged yeah, sword. Yeah. yeah, they're often 30 here. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, dude. I mean, I don't even think you... Yeah, dude, they'll fucking tell you 30 to put your pants back on. <laughs> yeah, it makes a good point. Uh, wow. All right, sweet. Last house of the night. 3456. 3.456, 766, Strawberry Lane, Ashland, Oregon, 5,400 square foot house, 750 bucks a foot, 630 a foot, built in 12, by architect Jill Simpson, let's see, floating concrete stairs, large river rock, uh, this is a good landscape technique, it's kind of like you can do it yourself if you're smart about it, um, your, your rocks have to be uniform size. If you guys ever, if you want to pull something off, you can do this. This is like a lazy wall. They call this an armored slope where we're from. You can do this yourself, but make sure you don't throw any rocks in that are small. You have to keep consistent size. Just keep that in mind. So I keep a rock pile on my property, like large and mediums. And I put them aside. I like separate them by smell. So like the small ones will be a fire pit, but the large ones will be like a hill, uh, the hold a hill, yeah. a grade change. Um, 
Oh, a die cut metal wall. Nice architectural detail. Cool. Cool. What the fuck is the fireplace so small for? She made the fireplace bigger, dude. Why is your fireplace so small, fucker? You ever hear Bobby say that? Bobby yeah. does the best trollo ever. Really? He's like, hey, what's up, fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Bobby Hacker, the, the great. Um, uh, man, this is uh, good. That's pretty good. I mean, 12, the solid wood closets built for a psycho. Good layout. Just a, a space for everything. What do we got there? What's that? What the fuck is that? Is that a, a bifold door? Are those po oh, okay. Wow. What is that? Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Um, those are like... That's like a that's a garage door opener. I've never seen that before. I don't know what that is, but I've always wanted to like know how that shit goes yeah. down. That's cool. I don't know what that... I'm going to look into that. Hmm... The garage door is open in a cool way, and I don't know why, how. Yeah. I like the relief in the uh, concrete. I like con like I like this shit. I know yeah, this is brutal cool. and tasteless, but it's not. If the if, if the setting is nice and it can take it, it's this is nice. I like this shit um, a lot. The the reeds and the, uh, the, the the landscape there, good planting. Piece of pea gravel walkways throughout. Uh, nice piece. This is nice. Good light, good windows. I, I mean, I like it. I don't, I don't hate that stuff. I mean, I, don't th I think it's going to age like the contemporaries do, which we see a lot, those 80s contemporaries. They're going to probably age like that, and we're going to see this and know this was a moment in time. But we're going to remember that these houses were flexes. This is a flex. If you live in this fucking thing, this is cool. Yeah. I've, I've had drinks in houses like this maybe twice in my life that like people I know owned them, mm -hmm. and it was cool that I was there. I was happy to be there. <laughs> that motherfucker was making moves. The shit is fat. That's what those contemporaries were back in the day. Those 80s houses that I say buy, that's what these are going to be one day. But these are, I think there's a little bit more foresight built in the, I don't know, we're a little smarter. But you never know. Again, it could age like milk. I don't know. What do I, what do I know? I'm just a guy screaming at his laptop. But it is a nice piece. Hmm. Oh, wow. I love it. Lead Platinum. Lead, lead cool. Leadership and Energy and Environmental Design. So... They're following all the right rules going forward. So this house is probably not going to... This house is going to age like wine, man. And uh, the materials used, natural woods. Nothing's offensive or, like, silly. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the most... The thing that could possibly date, maybe the gray color in the cabinets, maybe, like, the Italian smooth. Um, maybe, like, this stuff. But it's, it's kind of cool, like, the hidden profile. But natural woods never really go out of style. Brick never goes out of style. Simple white tile doesn't really age poorly you see it in 1930s you see it in 2030s and both of them look good um love the wide i love the uh the 50 inch walkway to the bathroom that's nice like a wide entryway to the bathroom mm -hmm. is a it's a nice touch um sitting room after a hot sweaty fuck session and you realize you're the coolest person in the world with your sob and um mm. what am i gonna say about it? it's a nice house it's it's actually pretty dope and if they built that for 500 bucks a foot it's worth 3.4 million now it's a big house, uh, built by Greenhammer. Most energy efficient environment. Wow, set on nine acres. Ah. This is fat. But being totally honest with you, when I retire, I would like to get into this. Like exactly this. Kevin, if you see this, this is what I'm talking about doing. We gotta do this stuff. I think people, you know, this is, I think this is like the amount of entry that people should take on green energy. Like, mm -hmm. don't go buy electric cars that they can't give away right now. Yeah. By the way, electric cars are going to be flooded. Can't give them away. No one wants them. Stuck. Mercedes friends dying. They'll give you thirty thousand off a car. Really? Yeah. That's not a good sign, and it's still not right a good now? deal. Yeah, yeah. You want a you want a hundred and twenty thousand dollar car that leases like a fifty thousand dollar car? Go get a fucking electric car. They'll fucking blow you to take one. That's not a good sign though. That's bad. You yeah. can still get thirty grand off and still be thirty thousand upside down. Imagine those suckers that paid full sticker. Woo, woo. Um, what about the Cybertruck? Is that just gonna go into a thinner? Yeah, Tesla's I mean, like vaporware. A yeah, I know. I, I, I do. I have. I have, I forgot. I have a fucking hundred dollar deposit on a Cybertruck. I remember. I, I remember you said that. Yeah. yeah, it was a hundred bucks. It was like stupid. I put it it's still in there. I have a low. I thought the lottery number might become valuable. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll have a hundred bucks. I'll have a, like a low ticket number on the Cybertruck. I'll be able to put it on eBay or something. Yeah. And I'll get like a thousand bucks for it. Yeah. But I mean, I, there was a moment where I thought it would be cool as shit. Yeah. Teslas are fast as fuck. Yeah. But 
you know that thing's gonna be a rat. You just know it's, it's already gonna behind be. schedule. It's gonna be a rat. And it, a fucking Elon Musk is too busy trying to fight Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> I'm gonna fight Mark Zuckerberg. And Dogecoin. The, I'm <laughs> Dogecoin. And I'm gonna do um, SNL and launch myself into the spotlight and fight the other billionaire from the United States. <laughs> What will the CIA think of next? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What will they think of next? I mean, we live in the wild. Genuine question. <laughs> that, I mean, like, if that happens, I'm out of here, guys. Yeah. Like, it's all over. I will, I will look at the world in a completely different manner if, this, if that goes in. And I think it's going to happen. Dana, Dana White said it's going to happen. Dana White. And I, I believe Dana White. Like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Dana White fan. Yeah. And he's like, they, they want to fucking do it. He's like, I'm dead serious. I talked to fucking Elon. I talked to Mark. They want to fight. Where did this start? I don't know. From uh, some dinner party at a fucking billion dollar house. How about I fight you in a cage? They are eating. They were eating uh, electronic parts at a dinner party. Yeah. <laughs> they were eating microchips at the, uh, at the NVIDIA uh, seasonal me corporate meeting. Yeah. And uh, maybe Elon whipped a, uh, like a pe uh, whipped a terabyte drive across the table and it hit Mark Zuckerberg in the head the wrong way. Yeah. And then he said, let's settle this in the cage match. And then two billionaires said, yes. That's that might be the most significant event in human history. That's what he was. That that's what Dana White was saying. He said it would be the biggest fight in history. Yeah, and like it's like it surpasses fighting. Yeah, it surpasses like world wars. <laughs> it's yeah. like more important. It, yeah, it, like <laughs> can you imagine they were like Rothschild and Rockefeller are gonna yeah. fight in a fucking wet t-shirt? They're gonna have a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> <laughs> they're right, going to yeah, ride the Sibian. This, none of this is real. Yeah, yeah. Um, George Washington is going to be riding a Sibian on the Howard Stern show next. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll bring him up from the dead, right? And he's going to ride the Sibian. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Like, no, I swear to God, it's going to happen. Yeah, he's on his way in here right now, Robin. <laughs> yeah, I met him. <laughs> like, met it, George. He's outside, tricot hat. He's talking about surveying plantation, having pneumonia, wooden teeth. <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, What's, it, what's the name of his farm? Uh, Versailles. Is George Washington's estate Versailles? I think so. Hmm. Maybe. Could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know what Freemasons name their estates. Yeah. But I know this frame Freemasons. This my this Freemason, John Stupid, thirty eighth degree Freemason. They told me I read all the books, and I they said triangle bricklaying, angle baseball, three 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 six nine Fibonacci triangle, black and white checkerboard floor. Uh, 38th degree Freemason. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I have to name my state uh, something cool. I'm going to call it the uh, something really uh, under the radar. Upside down cross farms. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce blood drinking, snapback neck, uh, spirit cooking farms. I think that'll fly. Down. They're never going to know what that is. Uh, I, I, I would love to come up and be in the naming, the naming business of, yeah. Uh, yeah, of, of Illuminati uh, assets. Like they're estates, like they're estate lawyers, but um, appreciate it, Jet. Yeah, great to have you. It was awesome. I had so much fun. So much um, fun. being, you know, being here. It's been it's been a minute. It's been a fat minute. Whenever Chris is sick, you can rely on me. If Chris is out of town. If he's sick, if he's, you know, at the hospital, you know, Chris Chris keeps telling me he wants to do full facial reconstructive surgery. And get face tattoos. Yeah, he and does he said, say that all the time. He keeps saying, "My my nose. I want my nose to be really thin." So that yeah. could take weeks if he goes through it. If he if he pulls the trigger, and yeah, he, you know, his nose. The nose he was pointing to me at was the thinnest nose I've ever seen. It was as thin as this this paper this uh name tag right here. It was I, very thin. Yeah, I was telling him that's not even. You're not even gonna be able to get air. He's like, dude, in they a nose like that. They have smaller air passages that are higher efficiency now. Yeah, they use three of them. I'd have six nostrils on each side of it. It's better. But I, I don't want to root for Chris's poor health. But it has been fun. And if if it ha if anything happens, we're gonna we're get, we're I'll be here gladly. <laughs> we got him on speed dial. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, Chris is doing a great job uh, as well. Like I, I I've been watching the clips even even at the fish tank. <clears throat> When when the stream was live, I, I was watching you guys having you know having a good time. The show's awesome, man. And it, and being gone for a while and coming back, uh, it's it's kind of refreshing. I get to see you know all all the names I'm, I'm used to seeing. I get to see, the format's great. The show's great, and that's all thanks to you. 
Like you're no. you're mad funny. Everyone, there's a reason people are like hardcore fans of this. It's because it's well, like that's nice of you to say. You, Jesus, people Christ. are learning and they're laughing, and it's like this is super special. Um, and I'm glad to come here. It was a blast. It's always yeah, great to have it's me. So yeah. fun. It's no, so it, fun. It's fun. These guys, uh, yeah, you guys are great, and your uh, the houses you pick. Uh, there's just less. There's something special about thinking about a bunch of fucking idiots watching a crazy YouTube stream and somehow walking out with like decent glints of information. Yeah. Or our uh, um, perspective or uh, worldview that that like I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It, like it's decent. It's a decent. I'm trying to give you everything I got. I promise. And, it's, and we're and, and we all, you know, everybody is. And I think everybody in the stream kind of. It, there's not many places where you can kind of have like a, a forum that's semi. So I again, that's why I do it. I like it. It makes me laugh thinking about it. You guys send me messages. You say, I mean, I get. What am I gonna say? What am I fucking not say? I enjoy getting uh, messages about people buying houses and I don't know. Thinking about people raising their kids, starting families. It's awesome. It's dope to me. It's the kind of shit that I I don't mind sinking my fucking feet into and laying some laying cement shoes on. Yeah. But uh, we will be here. Tuesday, we're making world peace. World peace is wrapping up shooting. I have a shoot tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Jed will be there. It'll be nuts. We're screaming tomorrow. We've got convertibles rented. We've got a wild, wild day going on. Um, we are, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep fucking it up and making it wild for you guys. Uh, tell your friends, bring your neighbors, call your auntie. Let's get grandma in here. Let's start stealing grandma's jewelry out of her jewelry box, just a couple of pieces at a time. Gold's uh, gold. doesn't take a lot of gold to be a lot of money, and she won't yep. even notice it missing. And she's uh, barely awake anymore, you know? Yeah. She's awake, but she's not thinking. She's not thinking about that gold earring from 40 years ago. She probably got a fucking backhand when she had it on. She doesn't wear it anymore. She's just seeing a wheel spin with colors. Yeah. With colors and numbers on it. Ah! She's trying to think about ways to get doctors fired for touching her crotch. Touch my pussy, I swear. He touched my pussy. <laughs> I saw him. Ah! Crotchety old broads. But yeah, fellas, the uh, the work don't stop. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing World Peace Two. Uh, expect Chris back on the next one. Thank you guys for uh, for you know letting me have a good time here. It's, it feels like home. It feels like home. It's old home.